Boom, boom. Hello. Hi. Is this going? No. Okay. All right. I'm Zeke. And I'm finally here with Florence Exotics. Why are you such a faggot, Carter? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I wish I knew. Oh, funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made you laugh so hard. It's so forced, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Funny stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was drinking water. Well, it was meant to be sarcastic. Was so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my guy, what's been new? It's just life. Just life? I mean, what else is new besides waking up each day knowing you're going to die eventually, so... That's beautiful. That's not beautiful. I like your insight. It's not a great insight. You shouldn't <laughs> think like that. So. You are? <laughs> I don't think like that. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> so. mm. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. I don't think. I just say stuff. Yeah. I, My mindset is positive. I just say negative things. Sometimes I say things before I even think about them. So that's just how it works. Like we should hang out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I talk so much, I've learned to tune myself out. So That's beautiful. <laughs> that's, it makes it better, though. That's a quote from The Office. So. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were being, like, good. No. I thought you were having some bars. This is just... I'm just talking till we get a subject. So. Talking till we get a subject. <laughs> uh, let's find some controversy. You masturbating? Is that, is sure. that what's happening here? Sure. <laughs> it's like... Let me just uh, get out of here. You're doing. You're the one doing it. It's supposed to be you, not me. <laughs> um, let's see. Controversial topic. Baby wipes. Baby wipes. These why, these are alcohol wipes. Why do they exist? Baby wipes because babies are little bitches, and complain I, 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 when I, you I, use I'm real toilet paper. I'm talking about the alcohol wipes. I know why the baby wipes exist. Because okay, think of it this way: you're gonna go and buy a fifty dollar bottle. Of uh, fifty of fifty oh. percent alcohol, like vodka. That was hard for you to say, wasn't it? It was very hard. <laughs> so, yeah. That so that's like what a dollar per percent of alcohol for like a hundred proof alcohol. I it's fifty it's bucks. Crazy. For a hundred and fifty proof, it's three dollars. So can you get drunk off those? That's my probably. Favorite. Let's try it. It's isopropyl alcohol. Oh, so, so we'll that might die. be might be We'd toxic. Probably die. That's probably death. Yeah. I want to see. Does it hey, say? But we could say we had a good time. Flammable. Sure. Keep away from fire. So you can't do any flaming martinis hey, with this. Can I? Can I try something here? What do you want to try? What if you put it on the lamp there? Would it catch itself on fire? I don't think I want to test that. <laughs> I think I'm good. You're no fun, Carter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, but it's healthy for you because it's got water. That's hydrating. So let's try it. Um, do not use in eyes. If irritation... Oh, discontinue use if irritation... Keep out of re If swallowed, get medical help or contact a poison control center. That's how it is every time you drink, though. So... That, no, they just gotta <laughs> say that in case there's one dude that's, like, allergic. Uh, so that they don't gotta deal with the lawsuit. I'm like, not. I drink your wipes company and I'm sick. Like, I'm dying. <laughs> so I'm gonna sue you for every penny you got. It's like... Should have read the freaking bottle. It's like the bottle he had though. It was like scratched. <laughs> <laughs> he just you could see he purposefully tore it off. It's like look, not on there. <laughs> Ugh, alcohol is a funny thing. No, it's it destroys people for sure. Funny was sarcastic, Clay. You can have some fun here. I was being Fuck sarcastic off. as well. So Wait, learn to pick up sarcasm. No, you suck at it. <laughs> That wasn't sarcasm. The thing I said. Oh my after, gosh! The thing Stop. I said afterwards. Just Stop. Okay, <laughs> so subject-wise, why don't we talk about? Mm, let's talk about girls. We can talk about girls. I mean, no, let's girls. not be odd like uh, some certain people on here. Austin. <laughs> hey, hey, See, hey! I've never I, had. I any, didn't. I didn't say that. I've never had an Austin on here. Oh. I've only had Ace and the Wrestling General. <clears throat> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling general. Did did you just say uh, uh what what did you just say? Oh, that oh oh oh! I, I I said wrestling general. 
Yeah, don't name drop on here. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> it, yeah, I'll, I'll bring that up to the audience. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in any videos that I that I recently posted, but I was going to make a pot. Yeah, we'll just address that right now. Um, yes. I made a podcast with uh, the Wrestling General again, and it was just me and him. And I was supposed to be there, but I looked. He was supposed to be there, but yeah. He, by the, because what happened was. Carter wouldn't wait, so that's why I wasn't there. Yeah, well, Austin wouldn't wait, so I was like, okay, I'll just Uh, do the two seconds. No, it wasn't your fault. Was Was it? it Yes, it was not my fault. Okay, I'll I'll let you tell your story. Good Lord. Tell your story. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But, uh, we, me, him, and the wrestling general started the podcast. It was going good, too. It it was was going good. Really good. The conversation was actually decent. And then I had to leave. Because my brother got into an accident, Spencer did, and so uh, I wouldn't got that taken care of. But he had to be home by the time that I was back and able to record. So it was just me and the wrestling general that made it, made the podcast. And look, look, talking to the guy is fun, but that podcast went horribly. I feel like he's just fun sarcastically. I don't know. I, I, he's I a just, good guy. He's, he's a, a good, good guy. He's a good I guy. like that was sarcasm. <laughs> so, so my sarcasm's not the greatest. So it's just, okay. Just go. Ahead. If anything, it's like perfect. Yeah. But, it's either perfect or horrible. But I can't mine tell. is like confusing. So just, <laughs> just um, I'll let you keep talking. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, because first off, he answered the phone in the middle of it on speaker, so you could hear the conversation. <laughs> like I got a call. <laughs> At one point in like the the first recording of it, yeah. and I left the room. Well, it's kind and of it's polite. my podcast. Yeah, it's the polite thing to do. Just like I was like, yeah. oh guys, I'm getting a call. I'll be back. <laughs> His phone, like I don't mind if the phone goes off. Like that's just understandable. Like people just keep their. Radio. Well, I mean, it happens. It's it happens. Li- it's life. I don't care about that. But he just like, like I was talking, and then I he just went hello. <laughs> and then started to talk to his coworker about him going into work. <laughs> oh and then God. that went on for like like three or four minutes that definitely seems like austin yeah <laughs> it's like dude um and then he like name dropped a girl that lives in our town and kind of a douchey like, thing to yeah do. like dude i wouldn't even name drop ace yeah like he was like there was one point where i accidentally called him adam I, I guess, but he was okay with it yeah. but at first like he was like i, 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 I shouldn't name drop either so. no it's yeah, okay yeah i didn't mean to name drop but it. but yeah like adam like wanted his name to be private at least yeah. up until that point so i was like that's all right i'll just call you ace you know what i don't want mine to be private so you should hit up cart this is <laughs> I'm not all mine <laughs> no, oh dude I'm, no dude that's hilarious that's the hilarious part though <laughs> my very first video i say like i'm carter sanvin i'm 13 years old i live in hill city <laughs> south dakota my parents work at this place like, I gave away all my personal information. By the way, this is a fake Carter now, it's a, just oh, so you know. It's, yeah, we, we had to switch out Carters. The other one went into witness protection. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, by the way, look up the hottest guy you'll ever see, Clayton Florence. I'm telling you, he's <laughs> just just perfect. Look Trust up me. his Facebook. He's really cute. Facebook is for old people. Look Don't up you have the, Facebook? If you want the real deal, look up my <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Clay, actually. Clayton, <laughs> Clayton, Defender of Bears. Oh, it's actually Defender of Reptiles. I actually haven't changed. Like, you're still Defender of Bears in my yeah. phone. Bears are that's from gay. That's from, like, seven... When I was, like... I think it was, like, 17 when I put that in. <laughs> Bears are hairy gay men. So. Hairy gay... Oh, <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> defender of... I'll just put that. Defender of gays. <laughs> no, nah, not that I'm against it, but... No. Reptiles. Defender of reptiles. Reptiles. Defender of snakes. Honestly, yeah. snake. my snake is the best one out there. So I thought you got rid of it. I'm talking about my one and uh, got with me at the moment. Carter. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> well, you know, Carter, you're actually fucking wrong. I'm Clayton. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. So, na- with name dropping, he just like there's a girl in my town yeah. that like you guys literally don't even know exists, and he was just like, hey. <laughs> this like insert name here you should get me her number i was like and not to mention that she's like four years younger than the dude yes so. it's like dude <laughs> can we save this for like like i'm all for genuine conversation yeah. but like 
don't name drop in this unless don't, it's obviously of don't a, talk uh, about it. of the guy we're talking yeah. about. But that's about it. I've said it before. Unless someone wants to be part of this, yeah. I'm not going to mention them. What do you think his reaction to this is going to be? I don't know. I haven't talked to him oh, in a way, long time. Oh, by the way, just got a text from him. Oh. No, he didn't. But that would be hilarious. Oh, oh, it's, oh I got scared. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. his name is very similar to my friend Michael's. Yeah. So I was like, oh, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> um, but yes, then he did that, and... And then, like, another part that it's, like, this happened, I wouldn't have deleted the podcast, the podcast yeah. if it was just this. But the phone call and the name dropping were the reasons that, like, okay, I'm just not going to post this. Just didn't go the way that I wanted it to. But he started to talk about how gays are immoral and against nature. It's and it was, like... Since it, the beginning it's of like, time. It's, like, it's... I don't even, like, you don't... What? Yeah stupid my f- like like ace very mm-hmm. religious guy he said himself that because of religious purposes he's got his issues with it but even he said like oh he's an idiot <laughs> yeah well also what i said is like with the, the religious one ace he, like he said he that their culture is about just people being happy yes. but when it comes to gay marriage it's like no you can't be happy no, in that it's, way it's like that is so hypocritical right there yeah it's it's terrible yeah. Not, nothing against religion at all because you know I'm I'm a big supporter of like do your own thing live yeah. your own life no, it, it's just if you're not hurting anyone then live your life you're the fine. way you want to yeah and that that is one thing like because my friend Ace is Jehovah's Witness I, we, we might have mentioned it a little bit in the podcast I can't remember um but that is one thing like they have their opinions on it but they don't do anything like they don't go Westboro on on mm-hmm. people like they don't like protest yeah. gates no, they don't walk around with like picket signs honestly you know then that's fine just don't kind of just why would you mess with people just because of the way they think it's just not even the way they think it's, it's something just, that's yeah. uncontrollable I know it's terrible but it's, and that's the, the wrestling general he's not even a religious guy no he's just an I, asshole I, I, he's I, just I, <laughs> Okay, no, I'm not saying this in like a mean way because I do like the guy. He's yeah. a, he's like a friend. I played football with him, but yeah, he's just he's got some very old fashioned ways of thinking. Yes. that's the only thing with him. Like I asked him because at one point uh, I was like, I was like, so what's the problem with a man and a man together? Adam and Eve. I was like, oh, so you're Christian? No. <laughs> Yet you're using the Bible as a source of reference. Well, I've studied it. <laughs> Yeah, I've read the. Yeah, I've also read the I Bible. I think honestly, that's kind of just something everyone in America knows. It's just. It's. Yeah, but it's still like every like. Of yeah. course, a man and a woman make a baby. Sure, that's that doesn't. I mean, guess more for nature, but. I don't see how that warrants like really uh, relationships. Couples, for couples that, doesn't that make sense. Couples that don't have a baby. Yeah. Are they morally wrong? Yeah. That's what No, like. they're like you he wouldn't he wouldn't have said that. Yeah. Or a couple that divorces. It's he wouldn't have said that they're very a lot of loopholes in that plot holes. Yes. Yeah. It's just it's, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's, it's just one of those things of like, oh, different bad. Yeah. People can be and different. trying to justify. Be different. I mean, and here's the thing. Yeah. Like, you can even have issues with it. But if you could even just say like it's just how I feel. I may not have like a legit, like a logical reason for it. Mm-hmm. I just have a problem with it. Yeah, I'd be more understanding. That would make sense. You know, it'd be a lot better. It's than like freaking bashing them. Yeah, sure it's like it's... it's like I've got no reason to be problem to have a problem with them. They just make me uncomfortable. Yeah. sure. I'd be like, okay, okay. that's okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that make me uncomfortable. For instance, sure. like when I'm sitting next to like a very fat person <laughs> on the bus or something. So but, sit next to yourself. I'm not like a fat fuck. I'm not a fat fuck. You weigh like 500 pounds. I do. I need to lay off uh, the <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Dude, too much pussy. Nah, that's that's pretty low in calories. <laughs> Almost. I'm on it. I'm like on the strictest keto diet, straight carnivore diet, if you will. That's a terrible diet. But straight carnivore. I've only seen that work for like one man ever. A guy <laughs> that I listen. Uh, he. Uh, he's a former professor, so he has a lot of lectures on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was having issues because um, 
his depression and stuff was actually like causing his health was causing him health issues. Mm-hmm. So he was having rapid weight gain. And his daughter actually started the carnivore diet because she has autoimmune disorders. Yeah. A couple. And that was really helping her. So he try thought, it. like, I'll try it for a month. So he did just uh, meat and greens. Yeah. And then she said, okay, next month, do just meat. And he was like, that sounds really bad. Like, I'm literally, like, like it's just lettuce. Like, mm-hmm. it's not going to change anything. She was like, just do it. Just try it. So he tried it. And um, his sleep schedule is back, like, like on a good good cycle yeah he's lost a ton of weight he's in great shape and he said it before like i'm not telling people to try this diet i'm just saying what it did for me yeah. with my situation everyone's metabolism is different yeah so it just yeah. it varies and that's the thing like he's not even a big guy normally either mm-hmm. so like he lost the weight i bet but you he wasn't he was like just, a fat guy if he did all meat i bet you he was just in taking a ton of carbs a ton of sugar all yeah. that before he did just the meat yes yeah. so just protein, yeah. If you eat just mm-hmm. protein, you're going to drop weight pretty yeah. quick. So. And, and, like, he also mentioned this about doing a diet as specific as that. Mm-hmm. If you were to break it for just a second, your health would be all over the place. Yeah. Like, he said that there was one day that he literally like, took a bite of a potato with someone else's dinner. And he was, like, puking for three days straight. God. And it's like, but he's also been at his best health on just the plain carnivore diet so he's yeah. like I just have to stick to it and not like he does uh like just steak and club soda that's all he consumes that's pretty awesome yeah <laughs> now now I'm not a spokesman for Jordan Peterson I don't I don't know if I'm 100% right that's just what I remember from that's what I remember hearing but but yeah that's how he's been doing it for like three years now pretty good for him yeah it's good Whoa. That is good. So anyway, gays. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like how we go from like carnivores to gays. It's car- it, well, it was gays gay. to carnivores and then back to gays. I guess they do like their meat. So they do like their meat. I'm talking about the gay guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> good joke. Good that was, joke. That was that was very sexist, Carter. Sexist? Yeah. They're dudes. They dudes have. can't be sexist towards dudes. I guess. It's homophobic. Yeah, there you, that, that was very homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one objectifying them. Uh, I'm not objectifying them. You're objectifying every gay man, making mm-hmm. fun of bears for one. Well, bears are, no, they're not gay. But they're not gay? Unless they're people. But I might be a twink. What's that? I think it's like the opposite of bear. It's like the submissive. So it's like the I've hairless been, gay guy. Yeah, like the guy, like bottom, <laughs> bottom guy. Um... <laughs> when I get angry, I call people twinks a lot. <laughs> I've never even heard that saying. I'm like, you oh. fucking tw-. It's It's just gay slang, but I, I'm always just like, you fucking twink. <laughs> I've heard cracker a lot. That's cracker? Sure. <laughs> That's, it's kind of funny, you know. Now, obviously, it is just be... Like, I understand that it is because there is the historical weight behind the N-word. Yeah. <clears throat> but, like, black people were like, hey... We're going to give white people their own word. Crack. You guys are crackers. And we all, like, laugh at it. Like, we hear, like if you and I were to get called cracker by a black guy walking right now, we'd laugh our asses yeah, no, off. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. It's, I don't know. It's just a word. It shouldn't bother anyone. <laughs> yeah, it, words are only as powerful as you, as make, you them. make them. A punch, That's different. no matter what you're like, a punch is going to hurt. Unless but it's a word like uh, you, yeah. <laughs> no, well, like, no, you're in good shape. I'm in good shape. I'm not. I'm not I, trying I to diss you. I can't throw. I need to stop dissing you. Let's no, just, you're let's, good. There's you plenty start, of reasons. Start dishing me. If, if we need to just do this. You look like Elton. You, you look like John Lennon's abandoned son. Actually, he has two sons. So you just turn you look like the third son. runt that got left at the firehouse. My dad is not John Lennon. <laughs> your dad, <laughs> your dad's from The Hobbit. He's one of the ho- he's, he's Frodo. He's, he's Frodo okay. Baggins' stunt double. This is how I compare my family. My family. <laughs> my family is honestly dwarfs from Middle Earth. That's how I compare them. We all grow beards. We are all my my dad's family is super short. It's just, I, that's what I compare them the most to. It's literally dwarfs. Your dad is Frodo Baggins' stunt double. Uh, he's not a hobbit, but I say 
More like Gimli's stuff, though. There you go. Yeah, because oh, so hobbits are hairless. That's something. That I love how you really told me to diss you, and I just went straight to your dad. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm not a very dissable person. I'm just, what does your shirt say? It says "Work of Art" because I am beautiful and you Fuck are not. Fuck you, so, man. <laughs> every person's beautiful in their own way. Oh, it's you, just, fucking hippie. Well, except for the uh, fat people. I mean, just, just, just lose the fucking weight. Except for the so, gays, you know. No gays. Gays are just no. Gay. They're they're morally wrong. Yeah. They're against nature. So are you. I mean, you're, like, you're trying to you, live, aren't you? You, you know, you're, try, at, you're, you're against nature. At, Look at your freaking haircut. You know, it's terrible. Adam, <laughs> it's terrible. Hey, now, hey, hey, I've got a fine haircut. It looks like Elton John. I mean, yours looks like John Lennon. Is there anything wrong with that? What's wrong with Elton John? He's gay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. And yours was married to an Asian. Asian women are pretty hot, so... They're either like Do you they're either like anime? gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> First off, isn't it hilarious how every anime character they make is a white girl? Yeah, they're With always big tits. A, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. I saw this thing and it was like anime characters compared to, or it was like anime char- or like anime girls in Japan versus <laughs> real girls in Japan, yeah. and it was like they're all like. Like, some of them, like, goes from, like, blonde hair to, like, rainbow hair. Mm-hmm. And they're all, like, white. Like, they're all, like, American-looking. Yeah. And then it was literally just, like, the same, like, number of photos, but it was just the same photo of, over, like, one over. Japanese girl. <laughs> um, That's funny. Yeah, but, uh, what were we talking about before? I don't know. I swear, I was going to say something. I can't, I'm sorry. You were dishing me about freaking my dad being Frodo stunt double. Yeah. And <laughs> Not that, really hurting me. Damn, I had dad. something before that too. Uh, I feel like I could just feel like there's something that I need to say. Are you going to come out? Oh yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> uh, I'm his boyfriend by the way. So. Oh, really? I thought we discussed this before we started. That's what I forgot. There I was going to go. tell you no. Yeah. Are we going to turn not, this not. off and get in bed? Or what? <laughs> get the fuck over here, twink. Um, I'm not gay, just so you know. And yeah. If there's any single woman watching this, my number is go fuck yourself. <laughs> 1-800-fuck-you. Um, 1-800-eat-my-ass. 1-800-I-am-actually-gay. Yes. Um, oh, Okay. I was actually... Oh, I know what it was. I was going to talk about... Uh, I, I was going to talk about the N-word. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean for it to come out that way. But it came out. That sounded, that sounded like the old Sega <laughs> thing. Nigga. <laughs> I, did, I honestly was just trying to say it. And yeah, well, it okay. Happened, but, but here's the thing. It's... First off, intent and context should matter. You were just saying it as a joke. Yeah. Like I if I were if I were to like be angry at a black dude and call him nigger. That'd be different. Yes, that'd be different. That'd yeah. be that would actually be a racial slur. You wanna know what my great grandma used to call him? What? Well, okay. I shouldn't say this, but like she didn't used to call him this, but you wanna know what a, another slang word is I've heard tossed around? What? Jigaloos. Jigaboos, Jigaloo, Jig- something Jigaboo? like that. Jigaboo? So I can't remember. Jigaboo? Jig- I think it's Jigaloos. Jigaloo? Well, yeah. Jigalo was a male prostitute. Maybe that's what they mean. Oh. I don't know. I just That's a word I've heard tossed around. That's just all I'm saying. So, I guess I'm taking solo lead here as Carter's too invested Sorry. in his phone. Sorry. I'm hey, no, you don't get to talk while you're on your phone. Uh, yes, this, I can. I'm is, talking this right is now. Me talking. This is my part of the podcast, okay? I get so distracted. I can't. It's, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Yeah, that's um, his, But yeah, okay. But I'll let you talk. Go ahead. Idubs actually made a great video on this because um, there was a girl named Tana Mojo that called him out Tana be, Mojo. because he always made jokes of just like, like he would always say, "I'm Idubs," or or like his real name's Ian. He's like, "I'm Ian and I'm a nigger faggot." And then, <laughs> and then she called him out and saying like, if you're white and you say the n word, you're scum, or or like fuck you, yeah. that sort of thing. And so he wanted to surprise her, so he went to one of her meet and greets, 
and he went to go to get a picture with her. Mm -hmm. But instead of say cheese, he said say nigger. And she like ran away from him. (laughs) And then she made a video saying that like she saying that he like literally assaulted her for one. Yeah, she's a piece of shit. There's people that lie. Yeah, and like she was saying like this guy like held me down and just said say n word, and it's like. No, I watched the clip. Like, you both were, like, happy to be there, and then you just said it. Yeah. As a joke, like, clearly to get under your skin. But it's like, like, first off, context matters with the word. Like, if I were to say, hey, you can't say nigger, Mm -hmm. that's not bad. Yeah. Like, the word itself may not be peachy, but it gets into the thing of, like, uh, like, swear words Mm -hmm. being, like, like, they're just, like, bitch is a dog. That's a female dog. It's only because, Mm -hmm. goose was a huge swear word back in the Wild West. Yeah, it's if weird. you called someone goose in a bar, you got shot. It's curse words are weird. They're just they are weird. Wor- they're just words. Ass I mean. is a donkey. Like they're they're <laughs> all they're all something, but we decide to use them insultingly. Shit is poop. Shit is poop. It's just poop. <laughs> Fuck is sex. Yeah. Like okay, <laughs> if I were to go up to a lady, just look at her, say female dog, she'd be like what, and then just keep walking. But if I were to walk up to her and say bitch. bitch I'd get slapped yep. in the middle of Target. <laughs> but they're the same thing. They are the same thing, but one has negative implications behind because it. Because so, we put them yeah, there. We did that's why it's it. stupid. Yeah. So, true. like, even when I'm using the word, which is literally just a word, in a good context, mm-hmm. of saying, like, hey, don't call her a bitch, I get told you can't say swear words. It's like, <laughs> come on. Same with, like, like, hey, man, don't call him a nigger. I, co- I get called out yeah. for using the word. And it's like, I literally just told him not to use it. Yet they can use it. Yet but, they can use it. Well, okay, not every guy thinks that way, but a lot of them do. The and Obama sucked as a president, just saying. <laughs> so. <laughs> but it's like, first off, I believe that like every president since FDR sucked. I was going to say since JFK. JFK was decent. I mean, he cheated yeah. on his wife, but he wasn't a bad president. So. Was with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she's hot. Can't blame well, She was hot. She's dead now, but... <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, she still might be. Who well, knows? You know Austin would try to dig her corpse up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know how he'll receive this podcast. We've said a lot of negative things. I don't think he's him. even listened to any wow. of these. I don't think he watches my stuff. He hasn't, like, been online at all. Hey, Austin, if you watch this, give me a snap afterwards. There you go. That's cold. Uh, Well, that way I know if you watched it. (laughs) That way you can just text him, like, yo, bro, you're, like, the best guy I know. (laughs) You're a great friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I wasn't going to say I was going to say everything I said in that video I meant. (laughs) You're just, (laughs) hey, in case you didn't hear that part, you're an asshole. I don't agree. (laughs) Um... (laughs) Yeah. But I think that we need to work on that. It's like, like, first um, off, with the word thing, offense is something that's taken. It's, it's not given. Honestly, it's stupid. It is stupid. Everyone gets offended by different things, but you don't have to be vocal about them. Yeah, that's, Keep like, it to yourself. Like, that literally shows that, like, it's not something that you can change. Like, it's yeah. subjective. Because I could just say in the store, man, it's hotter than a dog in here. Someone could hate dogs and they get offended, or, or like someone like loves Love dogs, them. and then hears that statement and gets offended. Well, what I if literally you just said that a you were like sexually attracted to dogs. Oh, it's hotter than a dog. <laughs> oh, not gonna lie, there's some pretty sexy dogs out there. So what are you? In? I can't tell like if you're gay or if you're bestial. Uh, I'm a heterosexual uh, white trans male. So. White. <laughs> you're I'm heterosexual. Not tra- Trans. No, no. So that no, means that you. Stop. are... I'm not trans. So that okay. means that you are a lesbian, turned a man no. that likes women. I'm not trans. I am a heterosexual white male with privilege. So. <laughs> I have my privilege. Um. Yep. Check your privilege. Uh. Privilege. But, uh. So it's like I like. Here's the thing. I get offended. You know, everyone does. I, I do. It's just I don't really... care, though, that I get offended. Because I know that it's that's just my brain well, it's, you reacting gotta it's just some, to something. It's just something someone said. And it's like it over in five seconds. Just Even if they... think about it. Because, that. like, think about the statement, offense is taken. It's not yeah. given. Because 
even if you had the intention to offend me in the first place. You didn't mean to. I mean, most like, of the time you don't mean no, to. No, but like, just... say that a guy were to just come up to me and just say like, hey, your haircut is stupid. Mm -hmm. If I don't get offended, then there's no offense anywhere in that equation. Therefore, how can that be an offensive statement? You know statement? how I would take that statement? Stupid can sometimes mean like, whoa, that's really cool. So I'd be like, oh, hey, thanks. And then just walk up. Since when does stupid mean cool? Like sick does. Like people say like, yo, that's sick. Yeah, but sick, sometimes dude. people say stupid, stupid, cool. I don't know. Maybe I've heard I'm dumb. making this up. Yeah. I've heard dumb. Like, dude, that, dude, that sure is dumb. I've yeah. heard that. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But like something yeah, okay. Like so like, so like your haircut's dumb. Yeah. But, but still, it's like, even, it doesn't matter what his intent was with it at that point. If I don't get offended, it's not an offensive statement yeah. because there was no offense in the interaction because I wasn't offended. Offended by it. So then yeah. you can't just say that, like, something is offend. The worst is, like, when, like, someone is hearing about something yeah. and, it, like, it wasn't even directed towards them and they're like, that's offensive. Yep. Yeah. How the fuck do you know? And who gives a shit? People have done that with me. <laughs> like, some people opinion. have just been, like, like I just made a joke, like, oh, yeah, that guy just, like, that guy just, like, called me gay. And then, like, my mom or somebody will be like, that's offensive. It's like, dude, the guy I don't, was joking. I, I don't care. Like, yeah. you you weren't even there. Why do who you care? It's weird, weird stuff. It is weird stuff. <laughs> so, bottom line, fuck you. Everyone. Everybody. Fuck everyone. Everyone is an asshole. Yeah, at some level. So At some level. Some more than others. But when you accept that, people start to be pretty good. Well, actually, the way I found out, most people are... Every, people have more in common than they do different. That's, except for the freaking like serial we, killers. Like, just, we all just, have penises. Yeah. Well, no, no, not the women. The women have vaginas. Women don't have penises? No. Have you been fucking a trans this whole time? No, <laughs> I've never, I've never, I've never even kissed a girl, but it's like... No, dude, you've told no, me. Dude, I've never dude, kissed don't, a girl. Don't lie. No, don't I, lie. I, okay, okay. So, like, so I'm 19, so I'm hoping that my first kiss is 20. Dude, you've had your first kiss. Now, that, but the story. I thought that what made girls girls was boobs. Okay, I'm going to say something here, and I hope you take this to heart. I used to think that girls only peed. I didn't think that they You didn't think that they pooped? I did <laughs> I straight up thought that, like, girls honestly just had, like, nothing down there. See, I Because thought, I knew I noticed that there was no see, bulge. I knew there was a hole down there. I just didn't know what it looked like. I, uh, you want to know? So, okay. So let's talk about um, how I... How... Or, or when I discovered what sex was without even realizing I did because I always just thought that like legitimately as a kid I just thought it was just people getting naked and making out I never See, even thought about how I'll the baby was made I just knew that babies were born yeah. but I just thought that like they just like sat there and like made out and okay my very first ever time finding porn was uh, I was because when I was a kid I was drawing all the time. I loved to make fan art of shows that I watched, so I mm -hmm. looked up pictures of characters from, like, Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a thing on... And so I looked up, like, Avatar The Last Airbender, and obviously there's, like, the options. Mm -hmm. And for some fucking reason, it said Avatar The Last Bender, The Last Airbender, Hentai. And I was like, oh, is Hentai a character? <laughs> so I, I looked at that, and I'm being totally honest here. Like, this isn't me making an excuse... For looking at cartoon porn like this is how it went down i thought that that was the name of a character in the show so i went and clicked it, on it it honestly does sound like it, it sounds like it well, it's a japanese word so i thought it for a little kid that is a very understandable mistake and then i looked and i saw like boobs and penises and i was like what what's this what just but just, of course i didn't click off because the curiosity got yeah, to I was me gonna say, just out of curiosity what characters were they oh all of them every single one so was every there. single one was saw there. ang's dick that's disgusting. He had his dick in Tough, the blind earth girl. Uh, but that's the thing. Like, I saw that. I saw the the wiener in the hoo-ha. The vaginal. In the coochie. The vaginal cavity. The vaginal ca the, the <laughs> sugar walls. 
I saw that Poo-tang. Yeah, I saw the poo I don't is that even what poo tang is? Poon tang, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. That's that's a vagina. Nice. Like I always say, like, yo, I just got some poon tang. Poo tang. <laughs> but uh I saw the dick in there and I was like, That's not natural. Like that's gotta hurt. Uh, I was gonna so say, I didn't know. So have you watched? You okay? I'll let you finish your story and then I'll tell my. Well, that's story. really it. But it's just like, I didn't know that that's what sex was like. I just saw that and I was like, that just looks painful. Like, why would they do that? Yeah. See, for like, I was watching Family Guy like not too long ago, and it's yeah. funny. There's a quote by Peter when he's talking to. Uh, Lois, I think he's like, I always imagined sex for you guys was like very painful and you kind of just let us do what we want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is such a good show. Oh, uh, but, but yeah, like I didn't know how it worked down there. I knew that girls just like had a thing. Yeah. I didn't know what the thing was. I didn't know what it did except push out a baby. They had lips. They had lips on them. Oh, but. And maybe some teeth. Oh, did you ever <laughs> see that movie? What movie was teeth. it? Teeth. Oh, where there's a the girl teeth has in teeth vagina. in her vagina. No, but it's I, fucking hilarious. I do not want to watch that till it's funny. I bet shit. you because I don't want to think about like fucking a girl and then teeth being in there. Well, so. she she it only happened when like she was getting raped. Like she got raped a lot in the show. Still and, sounds very uncomfortable to yeah. watch. Well, because like what it was only when she was like when she enjoyed it, the teeth wouldn't come out. This is still such a messed up idea. It's a messed up idea, but like, but when you watch it, the movie itself isn't as messed up as the concept. Yeah. Like it's it, it's honestly just a dark comedy, but See, that's but I like well because like she goes to a gynecologist, and then like he's like all right let's check here and for some reason like he puts all four fingers in, and she's like ow ow. And the she actually like bites his fingers off. Okay, I could not watch. That. And it's I what is it? What is it? It's a it's a Latin, a Latin curse called vagina dentata. <laughs> and he just screams out with his fingers off. He's like, vagina dentata. <laughs> oh, it's I so good. I still couldn't watch it. It sounds so uncomfortable. You can tell it's such a like a fake prosthetic. Like they literally mm-hmm. just like made this. Like he did this with his hand and then just made it bloody. So you could like see the fingers in the back at one point, but it was just like <laughs> squirting blood. Like, Vagina dentata. <laughs> how would you? How would you fit four fingers? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. It's like like maybe a cone, like gonna, the Italian. I was gonna say, do the Italian hand. And you like, want to know what I used to think fisting was? Literally. <laughs> to a girl's vagina just punching it <laughs> no, but then you know who explained it to me this, this is the funny thing. it was Ooh. Ryan Skilling's dad oh my god and I was talking to him he's the one who explained it to me and then Jeremy was also there so he kind of helped did like the picture oh. show of it so it's like he just explained it like that where you take your fingers you like this here's the vagina for example yeah <laughs> trying to put him in there. Oh. I'd be so... I don't know how right that is, but that's what I was told it was anyway. I don't want to know what is right. Just I don't from either. that? It sounds terrible. Now I could see fingers, but that's about the... Two fingers? That's about yeah, the... That's, that's maybe normal. maybe three, but that's about it. There were, there were these memes, and it would show like a... Uh, like it showed like one finger... Then the girl's just kind of sitting there with no expression. <laughs> then, then two, and she's like, "Ah!" And then uh, I can't remember. It was some like, it was it was from some show that I watched as a kid. Mm-hmm. But it was like a robot with like giant like <laughs> fist hands, like they were huge, and they would just like punch really fast. Yeah. And then the girl was just like, "Ah!" <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm gonna be this guy. What? I'm gonna curse both of us. What are you doing? You ready to get cursed? No, no. What are you doing though? Tell me first. Incognito mode. Don't look at porn. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to try to avoid it, but... It, it... What are you looking up? Let me see. I want to see. Out of fist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a note for the peep What gonna... the fuck is this podcast? See, I, that's what... The, I don't know, but that's like... I asked Ryan Skilling's dad that at a track meet of all places. And he... Ew, there's a YouTube video? Don't, don't watch it. How, don't, no. don't. How the fuck does YouTube work? They demonetize People will like ban that. videos for the N-word, and they will show that's allowed on there? I'm curious. Click on it. Oh, no, it'll pop up with my account. So? I don't want... Delete the video from your history. That's true. Oh, oh, I'm... Oh, uh, it's, oh a, it's just a... It's like a, a girl explaining it. 
It's playing in my truck. <laughs> Someone just like like starts to like rob your truck. Like, hey, hey, I think I see some money there. And then the fingers go directly up the couch. Just, what what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> just run. <laughs> That's how to raid off burglars. Just like blast a thing on like a. Just blast your speakers with a fisting tutorial. No, this is so messed up. Why are we talking about this? You started it. I know I did, but you started so it with So here's the, my friend. He you started it with the freaking Avatar hentai. So. That's just like... That's just like how freaking crazy the internet is. The internet is a disturbing place. It's, I I gotta say, though, I kind of love just how Wild West it is. Yeah, it's kind of fun, but it's also dangerous. It's dangerous, but... See, you say it the reverse that I do. You're like, it's fun, but it's dangerous. And I'm like... It's dangerous, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, like there, well, cause it's kind of funny. Like people, first off, even just stuff that like isn't like the crazy internet. Yeah. People still like complain about the internet, and it's like you realize this is all boomers, right? Boomers. Yeah, but <laughs> but even kids just complaining like. Like, I'm sick of, like, cyberbullying. I'm sick of the internet. It's well, like, maybe get off the fucking internet and go outside. That's the thing. <laughs> that's all you gotta do. It's like, oh, man, they're hurting my feelings. Close the laptop. Not anymore. Ah, it's so uh, nice outside. Ah, fresh air. And then it just starts raining, and then a bird craps on his head. Yeah. And he goes inside. Now birds depressed. are bullying me, too. <laughs> but, and then that's when Meg took her life. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you know who Meg is from Family Guy. So. Shut up, Clay. Shit, oh, oh. <laughs> I was, gonna, but who was it? Tyler the Creator, the one rapper. Uh, he even said like, yeah. he, like someone like asked him like, do you think that there's a problem right now with cyberbullying? He was like, uh, not really. Like you could push the power button. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta like. Uh, here's the thing. It's a platform. You gotta realize Every, the like, kids get bullied on that though. They're like addicted to screens. That, yeah. That's like their problem. You you it's honestly deserve to get okay. I don't think uh, anyone deserves to get bullied, but you obviously should spend less time on the internet. Everybody gets bullied on the internet. Yes. Everybody on the internet is a dick. Just it's just the way you see it. You gotta like ha you can either have fun with it, keep replying back to them, or you can take it very emotionally. It's about someone you don't even know. I was gonna say you're never gonna meet that person in your life. Well, there's a chance, but it's like. One person, probably like not even one. Person. Some kid from like England is calling me a faggot on my YouTube videos. <laughs> faggot, you live in England. Oh, <laughs> uh, where do you live again? <laughs> I don't think it's America. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. No. What was the thing like? Like the UK, like, like left the European Union. Yeah. That would have been great. Like some kid called me a faggot. I, I just like, yo, how's the European Union doing? <laughs> and then, like, and then no the kids comment. just like, what? And it's like, oh, yeah, oh, shit, yeah, you're just a dumb 12-year-old that doesn't keep up with current events. <laughs> What's current events? What? <laughs> what? You mean my you mean my third-hour class? <laughs> I don't pay attention. I don't to pay that. attention to that class, you loser. <laughs> All asshole kids on the internet, though, are from Florida. Or they're being bullied in real life, and they take out the rage on the internet. Like me. Like every kid. You ever. fucking piece of shit. Didn't even say anything. Like those same kids that sit there calling you a faggot. They're they get like the mom, I'm t mom, I'm not grounded. Please stop. <laughs> no, mom. Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> God damn it, mom. I hate you. Idiots. <laughs> You're all idiots. Obviously not everyone. I I think I would even argue though that. Even just regular bullying isn't handled properly. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Nothing's ever could, handled properly. But you could say that it's necessary. Well, honestly, it toughens kids. It toughens kids up. Look at the kids who yes. are bullied. They either become cops or like very <laughs> successful businessmen. Because they because <laughs> they always use the mantra like I I want to stop the people from being who I dealt with. Yeah. And so, like, that's a good thing. But then there like, are the ones that also just they use the position of police officer to bully. That's it. Yeah. That's terrible. Who? Even or even when they get into like a bunch of money, they do the same yeah. thing. It's who was it? I think a a comedian I watched named Jimmy Carr. He was like, so as we can see, bullying is is on the rise right now, and uh, there there I there are a few ways that we can deal with it. First one is to stop the bullying. 
Or, yeah, like, stop the bully. We tried that. doesn't work too well. Mm-hmm. The second one is to stop the kids that are being bullied from being such faggy dicks. And well, well, I didn't get it. Oh, come I'm not, on. I'm not going to do that. That's, that's a <laughs> mean prank, dude. I was like, for fuck's sake. Um, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, mom. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, could I get dinner? What do you, want? you can laugh at the joke now. There's no phone call. Actually, you I, fucking I just losers. Got a comment on my Facebook post. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't care. You don't care? They're all a bunch of losers. Aren't they? Yes, very much. Um. So, look at how much dead space is in right now. I know. Um, <laughs> Awkward sense. But it's like... There, there's too much... I'm a prime example of the problem with bullying. Yeah. Because I went to my mom and dad when, when I had a bully. Yeah. Instead of... Dealing with it. Instead of dealing with it. And then here's the thing. I didn't even get bullied. Like, what I dealt with was not bullying. Who, so like, who'd I, you have to deal with out of curiosity? Drew. Really? Drew, Brain Stevenson, and a couple of other kids. Back when I, like, in mm-hmm. middle school, if you were here, you being with, like, you hanging out with those guys, you would have hated me. Uh, like, I promise you that. Like, if you knew me in middle school, yeah. you would have hated me. What, why were we so different out of curiosity? I was a whiny kid. Uh, I complained about everything. Maybe I, it's I was annoying. I here when I did. Yeah. <laughs> like, the reason that I try so hard to be chill now and, like, get along with everyone mm-hmm. speaks is because back then I was entitled, whiny. I compl- like I, I played the victim card all the freaking time. Here, I drew you a picture. Like me! Like it! <laughs> I was obnoxious, too. It was bad. Uh, I think I was probably pretty obnoxious as a kid as well. I mean, all kids are, but it's like... I lo- Like, I always say... I would beat myself up. <laughs> That's a good point. Back in, like, back I'd in beat you school. up, too. <laughs> right now no I'd Let's, be I'd be uh, past self up too honestly just looking at the way I acted it was kind hey, of uh, stupid but that's good that means that you've grown and bettered yourself yeah. like if you were to meet the kid now you would think the only reason that you would beat him up is to get him further in life no because it's like you need to wake a little piece of shit yeah you that's need to wake <laughs> yeah you need to wake the fuck up no, get I, your shit my together. goal is to kill the kid not to freak oh fuck but if you kill <laughs> so, younger you You'll disappear. But according to Avengers Endgame... Oh no, you'll just create an alternate reality. Yeah, I'd be fine. (laughs) That's the thing, it's like, with how many, like, little tiny things got changed, Mm -hmm. do you really think that they clipped off every single branch? See, what I like, they kind of explain it kind of They do, okay, so like, the way that the Hulk said to the Ancient One was he said... We'll come back... Like, right away. And then put them right back from the time that we took them. But according to him... This is like, uh, honestly, a big plot hole because whenever you go back into the past, it's not the same past. No. It's just your future. Yeah. So when Captain America went back, it was a different reality. Yet he still ended up like as the old man Cap in theirs. Yeah. But see, uh, in my opinion, honestly, this is a popular theory. Well, no, because then that wouldn't make no sense because like if he would have decided to come back like with his thing old, he would have showed up on the platform. The, so I don't know how that worked unless, honestly, that's an alternate well, cause, universe Captain America right there. Oh, no, 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 no. I think... How did they do it? You know what? Like, Well, because I actually heard from the Russo brothers that um, like he did leave some branches open, but he was still just like in Earth. Mm-hmm. It was in Earth, but he like went with... Uh, um, so... How did they describe it? So, the times... So, like, his last pimp article, he used to go back after the plane crash. Yeah. So that he could live with Peggy. Um... Ugh. Uh... But, yeah, so then how would he... How would he end up... So that means that... So that means that either... That means that either the the Captain America that we see is not the is, same one, is not the same one, mm-hmm. and he's like one of the alternate reality things. Yeah, well, that makes or, sense because his shield wasn't destroyed. So, 
and you know, like it it can't be that the old guy came back mm -hmm. because they actually said that he was carrying Peggy's coffin in Civil War. Yeah. Like the old guy that was. Well, in the he back. wasn't carrying. You can spot him though. You, you can, can spot him. Like yeah. like like the pe like when Steve was carrying it, there was an mm -hmm. old guy in the back with white hair. Yeah. They said that that was him. Mm -hmm. It makes sense because that is a plot hole. But it makes sense because it's like the alternate reality Captain America that came back there. Not like that same Captain America. It's not the same one that... So you think that universe. it's like... So you think that it's old guy alternate universe Captain America mm -hmm. that came back? Different one from an alternate timeline. So yeah. If, Did like, he get a hold of Pym Particles though? I don't... I see. I don't think he traveled back in time. He just lived his life in that universe. And that's when he... Oh, so you think that he went back to, like, nor the normal timeline. Yeah. Instead... Well, but, like, can you do that, though? No, because the whole see, point is I'm that... I'm not saying, like... Because the whole point is that if you mess up the flow of time, then it yeah. automatically makes a branch. Yeah. Him going back after the plane crash is not going with the flow of time because he crashed and slept for 70 years. Yeah. So then, therefore, he would have automatically made a branch in one. Yeah. See, so, yeah, that is a big plot. It is a big plot. Damn it. But, like, again, I never even noticed it. Yeah. When it, so it just shows it's a it's great movie. It's just kind of... It's a little... I gotta uh, talk about that, though, with some people, because now my head hurts. Why? Because my heart hurts so much. See, Avengers Endgame is good, but it's been... Uh, I've watched it a little too many times. Um, yeah, like, it's... It's so much a spectacle movie. Like, it's so much a theater movie. Yeah. That it's not really something that can be good on its own. Also, there's a lot of scenes in it I just didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, some of them felt forced. So like what? The whole women team up. That was bad. When Captain Marvel. They did a great job in Infinity War. And, well, because it didn't feel forced. Yeah, yeah in Infinity it War, it was the thing of like, like, oh, now you're alone. Oh, she's not. And then Black Widow comes up. And so they're all like, they're all doing something, you yeah. know. But like, it literally just looked like over there, they were like, oh, oh, the women are, oh, okay. Yeah, let's yeah, let's get over there. Every like single they run one... over there and it's like, wait, we're here too. <laughs> What was Mantis going to do out of curiosity? Like, go and, like, touch one of them. <laughs> Literally. Like, sleep. She, <laughs> she would have died, like, right away in that battle. I saw someone say this, like, show them fighting. That would have been good. I don't have a problem with the message. Just don't yeah, force it. It was very forced. I, I felt like that was something that, like, it's one of those moments that, like, they didn't even, like, put in the script. And it's like, yeah, oh, why not? It's like, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, cut. What? You... We need to put in the woman. Okay. Son of a bitch! Okay, all right, take it back, like, five minutes. Like, we got to put in some woman thing. Can you guys just, like, stand there and, like, run? And then all the women are like... No, 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 not you, not you, Scarjo. Get, get, yeah. get out of here. <laughs> and then she's like, wait, am I supposed to... No, no, you're dead. Go, go. <laughs> We got a candy bar waiting for you offset. No, go, just, just go. go. You have food in the wait. You have food in the dressing room. Just go. Just, just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, but they're all over there. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Action. <laughs> then Cap. Yeah, and then Captain Marvel ran with it too. Yeah, dude. I, honestly, she's, I don't like that. Kid. She is like the epitome of forced badass. Yeah. Like it very much so. Zero chemistry. I don't like her too much. I, don't. I think it's mainly the actress, which she's acted good in other movies. It's, it's just this was not the role for her. Have you seen? I, I it has to be direction. Yeah. Because like she's always just, hey. See, that's what I'm saying. You got something I for me? I just don't think it was the right actress for that. Role. Yeah. I think it should have been uh, Amelia Clark. That's honestly who it should have been. Mother of Dragons becomes Mother of the Universe. She's got a pretty hot booty, too. Dude. <laughs> compared to... Don't even get... Compared to Brie Larson. Brie Larson needed a butt double. <laughs> that, I, the, I showed you that picture. Like, reality is often disappointing. <laughs> and then it's also... It shows Tom Holland compared to... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my sister was saying that. She was like, yo, you got some issues when Spider-Man is thicker than you. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, Honestly, she's got big tits. It's just the, <laughs> it's the, it's just the booty. Got yeah, nice boobs. Good on her. Yeah, like but the, she's that's still the thing. A terrible actress. So yeah. well, in the MCU, she's like, a terrible Captain yeah. Marvel. In my, have you if you've watched Room? That's actually a really good movie. Is she in that? Yeah, she's the main character. In Scott Pilgrim. She's yeah. great in that. She's a really. She's like got there. Like she's good like good movies. It's yes. Just, in my opinion, they should have cast her in something maybe different. Not yeah. like Captain Marvel. Maybe like. 
a more minor character or something. She showed more emotion in 21 Jump Street than she did Captain Marvel. See, for I'm trying to think. What it would be, like, maybe <laughs> she could make a good Jean Grey or something like that. Or, I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here. But Let's see. I'm trying to think of something where she would have fit a lot better. Anyway. <laughs> Black Widow from the dead. <laughs> no. Sorry, but no one's going to replace Scarlett Johansson. I mean, no, she's that's got one the, of those things. It's she's like she's got like oof. the perfect body for that role. She does, so just, she does. but like, she's one of those actresses that, like, before it, she wasn't really. She was always just kind of cast as like the hot chick. Yep. So I'm sure that like if they were to cast her now, we would all see it. We would all see it like Robert Pattinson. We'd be like, that's who they're fucking casting. <laughs> like she's a, she's yeah. a blonde bimbo. Like what is she gonna do? But then like. She plays a role, and it's like, oh, she's shit. freaking good. It's like, she's actually good. Have you seen The Lighthouse with Robert Pattinson? I want to That's so actually, bad. it's it's boring, but it's good. I've if heard that's like, the way I see I've heard, like, if you look at it from a strong, like, film perspective, mm-hmm. it's great. Yeah, it's good, but like I like said, Like, not a lot just, happens. Yeah, it just kind of drags on. Yeah. More of, like, a psychological movie than... Mm-hmm. That's pretty entertaining sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, <laughs> Not all the yeah. time. <laughs> well, like, you're just more of an action guy. Yeah. You know? I you prefer need, fast You need spectacle. Well, That's except good. for for some reason, well, I guess Lord of the Rings is action, but it's like that. That one's got set pieces. That three though. hours. Like, like, like that one's, watching those movies. That one's got cinematography, yeah. like beautiful shots. It's just like the time flies when you're watching those. Yeah. It's crazy. It's got to be the writing, though. Yeah. Like, writing is everything. Well, it's just the pacing, too. It's like. Very yeah. good pacing. You really need to watch them. It's oh, I'm, I'm going to. Good, good movies. That's a good rule of thumb, by the way, with movies. Like, if you're bored, mm-hmm. the pacing is bad. Yeah. Like, that's... Like, if you feel bored at any point, it's because of pacing. Pacing. So, yeah, Lord of the Rings was great at that. It yeah. Great. Um, what was I going to say? Huh. Well, yeah, like, with Endgame... Like, it was, it was, I I said it, and this isn't a bad thing, but it was just, Mm -hmm. like, fan service the movie. Yeah. Like, when you talk about, okay, when you talk about Infinity War, you say, like, what are the moments that you remember the most from that one? Um, I remember Gamora's death. That was very impactful. Uh, I remember... Star-Lord punching Thanos. Yeah, that's that's a a strong, like, like, twist of plot. Yes. But then Spider-Man fading away. Yeah, there's so many. Like Infinity War is like the perfect example of like a blockbuster movie. It's yeah. like perfect. It's... Now, when you say Endgame, what do you think? Everybody comes back. Yeah, that's good plot. But it's like, what's another moment that sh- that you think of the most? Captain getting the hammer. That's it. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Uh, Iron Man snapping. Like that's. But again, like the that's thing with Captain America. Yeah. Like that was awesome. But it did not add anything plot wise. Yeah. See, it just my, it was just one of the it was just to satisfy a theory by fans. In my opinion, like the places I felt the most bored was when, you know, Nebula was captured by Thanos. That was like stuff so much of that could have been. Thanos cut out. kinda sucked in, in the end game, it was just boring to watch him. Honestly, all you needed to know, like when Nebula was captured, show her get beamed up into the ship. And then that's it. That way it's a twist. When you find out it's the other reality nebula. Ooh. So that way you don't see all this stuff. Yeah. It would have been so much better. Like the mo- Like, at first, I didn't notice any... At first, I didn't notice any pacing issues because I was just so excited to watch. That's how everyone was. Yeah, but <laughs> now I look back on it, I'm like... Oh, yeah, some parts really... See, really the stuff involving, this. like, Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, all that, like, the surviving members... Yeah. That was all great. It was good It stuff. was, like, that was paced very well. <laughs> it was, like, just, yeah, done very well. Yeah. But then, like, yeah, the only problem I had about it was... I know this is going to sound kind of weird compared to Infinity War, but it's, like, too much Thanos. Mm-hmm. This shouldn't... There was just too... And I know he's hardly in it, but it's still just, like... Yeah. Take take out the scenes of like him torturing the, you know, yeah. normal nebula, all that, and then, yeah, they would have made it so much better, mm-hmm. movie, in my opinion. But. I think that they had too much beginning, mm-hmm. you know, like up to the point where they figure out the plan to like get the stones Honestly, from that to from that to Channing, mm-hmm. t- Channing, Paul chopping, oh, chopping, chopping Thanos's head off. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I mixed 
Thanos and chopping. But uh, in between that, it felt a bit slow paced. So are you talking about like the opening scenes? I guess opening scenes. Like honestly, I enjoyed that the most. You enjoyed those ones yeah, the most because it showed the impact it had on all of them, how they were dealing That's with true. it, how like they reacted when they found out certain members of the teams were dead. Yeah, yeah. When Rocket, you know, walks up to Nebula and he just holds her hand, that was such a good. Scene. That's true. Actually, that was such a good. Those scene. ones are good. There were. Are you thinking you know maybe the ones, stuff after each episode? You know which off? one I it was it was like them getting the stones was actually the most boring part. I was for me. I was see because that's like where the Thanos stuff comes in too. So yeah, I would agree with that. Um, but like you know when it cuts back on, to the Avengers, I don't mind that part because it's. I felt like the scene of them getting the pin particles. Mm-hmm. It was necessary. Like I didn't have I a problem with it. I just really I just thought it was boring. Scene. I didn't. I loved that scene because it shows Steve seeing Peggy. Yeah. Then it shows Tony Stark talking to his father, which I know. No, yeah. I wish it would. He would have revealed to him, you know, hey, I'm your son. That would have been pretty cool. Well, I guess it would have messed up the flow of time, but yeah, it still would have been a better. The hug scene. was great. Um, Vormir, mm-hmm. Scar, like Black Widow's death the was the is, only part of that scene that I felt like. But you know that holy scene crap. only lasted like ten minutes. I know, but it felt so much longer than that. I don't think it did. It went by, like, in oh. my opinion, too quick. Felt like it. Way too quick. And, on, yeah, honestly, like I, I've already said a million times, too much Thanos. That it might have... It, maybe it was just Thanos. It was like, you did not need to show, you know, when Nebula got captured, her getting tortured, her yeah. talking to him and all that. On, like, it would have been such a good twist just to reveal that was not the normal Nebula when yeah. he got back. It would have been better that way mm-hmm. um but one thing about when i said that like thanos was sucky in this in in infinity war you had the most like he, he was doing something evil mm-hmm. but he rational like you yeah. saw both sides to him you saw the empath like the he empathetic was more of a thanos. character in more infinity of a character because yeah. even when like he even when he was about to kill tony in, the, in yeah. infinity war he said like you're a good dude. Like I, I hope people remember you. Yeah. Like he didn't. He wasn't just he like. He wasn't killing to just kill. Yeah, That's and then funny. like, in the second one, he's like, I hope everybody on Earth like dies a painful he death. Said, yeah, he, what he said was, he's like, I, I, in all of my mass genocides, I have never taken a personal, but I am going to enjoy yeah, every I'm single enjoy minute this. of. Yeah. It's, it's like show. Like, five years difference for a guy that's, like, 400 years old. Yeah. He suddenly changes his tune. Well, that was his past self, though. It wasn't But again, only... F- I don't know if I can just buy that he changed, like, that fast. Yeah. In five years. I don't... I can see that because... I... Like that I would said, be, like, me next month. Yeah. Just being, like... I hate the world. The world sucks. See, I hope everybody dies. The way I view the two movies, Infinity War was Thanos' movie... And then Endgame was the original Avengers. It was a, that's true. That's like how I view it because like the more of the focus in Infinity War was on Thanos. It was. And then more of the focus on Endgame was the Avengers. So it's actually smart because like mm-hmm. splitting everybody up, it kept you from like they split up the Guardians. Yeah. So it made you, it kept you from focusing on like the Guardians then, or the Avengers. Yeah. Ooh. See, that's why like in my opinion, Endgame too much Thanos. Literally, he should have just shown up at the end. That was shown up at the end. That would have been show the show the Quinjet coming through the portal. Yeah, and and maybe just and like leave like, the shot what, on what, it, and what it's is like, that? Yeah. who's that? That's like that would have been. Or, good. And then you'd be like, what? Well, what's Nebula, Nebula doing? You know, like there she just takes off that, and it's like show her like fighting someone, mm-hmm. and then it's like, oh shit! That would have been much better done that way. Sure. It was like there were some like moments, li- small moments. This is just nitpicky, yeah. but just some moments like a, again back with the girl thing, mm-hmm. just saying like she's got help, like so like the moment where like it shows that Gam- like it's like past Gamora, mm-hmm. like after they're fighting the people, she literally just stands there for five seconds like this, and, that's and the shots on her just to show like hey look, it's Gamora. She's back. We could have seen if we could have seen that it was Gamora if she was fighting someone. I know it would have. Like just little moments like that. Movie. Again, the hammer thing. Mm-hmm. It was cool when I saw that. I freaked the fuck out. I think everybody. Out. Did. Everybody did, but mm. 
the way that it was shot, it didn't work. Like, cinem not cinematography, yeah. pacing wise. Pacing. Like, you could tell that they literally just stopped on that just to show that it's there. Yeah. I agree. It, like, again, a moment like that, you would have seen the hammer go, and then, like, Thanos gets, like, hit by it, but you don't see who's actually holding it. Like, show him mid-combat with it. Like, mm -hmm. reveal it that way. So, like, you see Thanos get, like, knocked over by it, but it's still just Thor there. And Thor's, like, got his, like, his jaw just open, just... And then it shows like like oh, like steep Thor. yeah <laughs> I love that, that was some people complained about it I, I loved it, it. yeah I it, was it a worked good totally for say me. it was smart Hulk. that's yeah like I heard some people say like they ruined Hulk no it's like it's, no you're the, that's why I like Endgame still you know with all its problems it is the most unique one out of the Avengers yeah, movies it took a lot of bold steps yeah. Because it's like the characters have changed so much in that. It's just yeah. very entertaining to watch. You know one thing I, I really liked um, with Spider-Man Far From Home hmm. was uh, like Endgame made the snap seem very like serious, which it was, mm -hmm. like very dark. No, but then Far From Home, out. yeah, like they made it a joke. So they were like... <laughs> Yeah, that kid blipped. Yeah. See, I love, like, when his teacher's talking, it's like, yeah, I thought my wife blipped, but turns out she yeah, just ran she away just with another guy. She just cheated on me with this guy. We even know a fake funeral and everything. I was, was going to say, like, we, we buried her, but she just cheated on me with some guy in Cuba. <laughs> she just skipped town out of it. Um, or, like, Flash. That scene, it was just a little moment, but just yeah. Flash, like, oh, I thank you, man, because it shows, like, his ID. And it was like, he blipped, so he's technically 16. He's like... <laughs> Fuck. See, that would be so messed up. I would be pissed. Like, beyond pissed, because uh, I would be 21 by then. I'm like, what the flying fuck happened? Wouldn't that be something? You're, like, technically... Like, like, imagine being, like, 30, mm -hmm. but you're still 25. That would suck. That would suck then, like, be imagine great. if your little don't, brother... Don't the guy, be... guy explained it. His little brother did it, and, like, now he's five years older than him. Oh, you know yeah. how weird that would be? Dude, Spencer would be... Two years older than me? I couldn't imagine. Oh my gosh. Silas would be a year older than me. I mean, Spencer's than me. already taller than me, so it just kind of feels like it already. Yeah. Silas isn't. And, and he bullies me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Man up. Quit being such a faggot. A what? Uh, you heard me. No, I didn't. Yeah. I couldn't hear you over my sniffles. Only women get emotional. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Man, I suck back in them tears. Throw some balls. What was it? Uh, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> enough to make a grown man cry. Get but back not in this there, one. <laughs> Get back in there. Oh, it's such a good movie. Dude, Terry Crews for the thing. I'll watch the crap out of that. Maybe he... Do you think he's almost, like, too comical, though? Who? Terry Crews. Uh, which, oh, the guy who played his voice. Played like wood. Yeah, I love those movies. I thought it was Mr. T, though. No, it no, it's it Terry was the Cruz. first one I thought. He's in both, Let Terry Crews. May, maybe I'm thinking of it wrong. I could have swore the first one was Mr. T. Anyway. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Who is the cop? Oh my gosh, it was mm -hmm. in the first one. But then they changed it to Terry Crews. To Terry Crews. Yeah, it was Mr. T. And then let's see. Maybe, it, I don't know if they changed yep, it. Yep, it was Terry Crews in the second one. Weird. <laughs> That's crazy. I c yeah, because I thought he voiced him in like at least one Wait. movie. Neil Patrick Harris was in the second one? He was in the first one, too. Pretty sure. Anyway. Steve. Oh, the monkey. Oh, yeah. he's. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. That's who Steve is. Glad you had the chance of meatballs was so freaking good. I love the first one. Anyway. That was back when, like... That's like, weird. people didn't... That was back before, like, remakes of stuff were actually, like, yeah. legitimately popular. So when people made them, they were actually, like, well-made. And mm -hmm. it wasn't just... I'm surprised Terry Crews and Mr. T sound so much alike. I was gonna say, I thought it was the same <laughs> guy. Flintlockwood! <laughs> because, like, you know, I thought it was Mr. T and both of them, but I guess it's not. Who's the baby again? Uh oh. Oh, Andy Samberg, dude. <laughs> he plays uh, in Hotel Transylvania as well. Yeah, gosh. 
that's my boy. It was so, it was dumb, but it was one of the, it was the <laughs> first time in a long time that I laughed at an Adam Sandler yeah, movie. You know that, uh, I actually have a little cousin named Brent, and he was born in 2009. Are you serious? So it's like Chicken Brent. <laughs> chicken Brent! But then, you know, that's also my grandpa's first name. Is Brent, so that's who they named him after. Grandpa Brent! But we'd actually call him Little Brent. Little Brent? Because <laughs> of my should have called him Baby Brent. Actually, I think it was Little Brent, like, when he was, like, growing up a little bit. But baby Brent. Damn. We called him Baby... He's the youngest cousin out of all of us, too. So there's only six of us. Damn, do I care? I don't care about you, so I'm just... I know you me. don't, so <laughs> why the fuck do I care about you? Because I can talk. Good point. <laughs> you can talk about stuff I don't care. Damn. Facts, dude. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt me, man. <laughs> like him or hate him. Spin straight facts. <laughs> Alright. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kindergarten cop. <laughs> it's not the Duma. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's been a while since I've watched that movie. There's such like a simple, dumb clip. Probably not even that funny. But it's when Arnold Schwarzenegger was Congress, or no, uh, Governor of California. Oh, yeah. So he was like giving a speech. But it's just, but the clip they... is just him going, duh. <laughs> that's it. I'm like, that's gold I'm, right I'm, there. I'm still surprised he was Governor of California. Oh, gosh. It's oh, my kind oh, of hilarious. That video. It's like, I've done everything I've been actor, governor, bodybuilder. There's one thing I haven't done. I bought a fucking tank. <laughs> Be like Arnold, people. No. Buy a tank. Huh. If he can do well, it, you can do it. Well, he also has a ton of money. Yeah, just... If he can make money like that, you can make money like that. Not everyone's meant to be an actor. Who said being an actor? Just make money. Well, just scam gotta, people online. I guess you can print money. So. Print money and then go buy a fucking tank. Honestly... I don't know. The money the money system in America is not the greatest. Yeah. It's... I don't... I feel like we need to get to a point of things... I, I, I feel like we need to get to just, like, a crypto system. What's that? That's, like, the online currencies. Like, Bitcoin. I don't like that. Well, but it's, like... The problem is when you make it an item mm -hmm. that has somewhat of any value, inflation can happen. Like, okay, okay, think of it this way. When it's something that's, like, we used to be on the gold standard. Yeah. The gold had value because it was a limited resource. No, it's not. The problem with it... I guess it's still kind of... Well, but the problem with, like, having any currency being a limited resource is you'll eventually run out. It's so weird to think. How does a rock buy things? People thought it was shiny and could make metal it stuff out make, of it. doesn't make... There's so many other shiny rocks that are more common. you think that would be the currency so everyone could have a decent amount yeah. of money. But. Well, but then, like, we went to paper money because it's like, hey, easier to make, less like, resources also, to waste. Supposing, but we'll still, yeah. like, have our, like, value of stuff. It'll be backed up. But the problem gold. with that is you get inflation because they're like, oh, let's just print more money. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, if you just do like an on, like literally just give people a number, don't even have it like online base. It's not connected to any satellite. Oh, yeah. You're literally just given a chip on a card with a number on it. All right, you have one thousand thirty nine. That thing over there is twenty. Not even like anything. Like we'll say that it's dollars, but it's not any item. Yeah. You just have one thousand thirty nine dollars on your card. This is twenty. Finish one thousand nineteen left. That's it. Like there's no item there. Yeah. You are given a number so you could still purchase things because they have their values, but you're not wasting any resources no, no, no. along with it. Yeah. So, like, people, and here's the thing people can use that thing to go purchase stuff so it's still currency. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's I don't know. Idea. Like, I don't know how it would work practically. I feel like that would work a lot better if you were in, like, like a, like a more rundown society where mm -hmm. you had to really conserve resources. Yeah. But. Honestly, I think America. It could definitely use some improvement, for sure. Of course. <laughs> it's how every country is. But you can't tell any... Like, it's definitely one of the best. I'm not going to lie. It is a world superpower, you know? It's a, it's nice to live here. Yeah. But it's not, not a perfect country. That's, I've been thinking a lot about Australia. Australia, I, mean, I think, is a little more flawed. That's just a little more, idea. but, like, 
in the issue in the biggest issues that I have mm-hmm. with America, they don't have those at all. But you also have the most venomous snake in the world there. That's true. The most venomous scorpion. I mean, yeah. I, okay. The avo- most deadly sharks. Okay. 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 Crocodilians. The rock fish that you step okay, on. Okay, but it's... like ignore the animals. <laughs> oh. But because my only problem here is everything in America is political. Yeah, it's and terrible. I hate it. I hate the two. I'm not a political. I'm not even a political person. I don't get involved in politics. I don't either. It's just not me. <laughs> it's not a and it's a good thing. To like get down there, in. that's not a thing. People don't even pay attention to who's in office. Yeah, they don't. So no one care. cares. That would be nice. But then again, just move to Canada. I could do that. Aren't taxes like extremely freaking high though? Because their but healthcare system. Health, yeah, you get free health care. It's healthcare, free, but free college. So that's true. You get a lot of. But aren't the taxes like? Yeah, but I'd rather be paying a little higher taxes than have to pay like twenty thousand dollars in debt for school or medical that's true. bills. That's. And it uh, and again, like we were talking about this today, like the one problem that I have with everything here, mm-hmm. being capitalist, is like people care more about the money of it. Than they do actually like giving people what they need. Yeah. So they'll again. That's how all government items are. items just... break so that you have to go buy more of that yeah. item. Like tires, and I know we were discussing we were talking, that talking about tires. Yeah. And medicine, like. Well, but you know, I've kind of had the interesting debates in the past. That like kind of like, here's the thing, the arguments that people have made is, this thing is extremely valuable. Therefore, people shouldn't have to pay for it to get it that makes sense on the surface but what if you think about the perspective of because it's got such a high value you need to pay for it because it it's worth it's actually worth something yeah so when you literally say because when you say that you shouldn't have to pay for it you're basically saying that it's worth nothing with our system because we're in a capitalist system so if you say something that here is free Mm -hmm. that means it's not worth anything so if you say that like you shouldn't pay for water it's like saying that water is not worth anything. Well, water is kind of free. You can go down to the creek and get Well, yeah, water. but like, it's, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous for sure. And like, I guess you could argue that like the problem with free healthcare is because there isn't the money put into it like it should be. Mm-hmm. It's going to be lower quality. But you realize how much the government puts towards unnecessary things. It's Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we are one of them. Okay, but we're super Again, high in debt because of the people that have run this country. It's military and and, yeah. and career they politicians. They spent it on things that don't benefit the general citizen. They're spending it on literally people like getting to have congressmen as a job. Yeah, it's terrible. In my opinion, political offices should not be making near as much as they are. They should be. I like, don't even think they should be charged you know, for it. They shouldn't even be making money. It should be like just a mm. part-time position, you know, that you take up because you know for the benefit of your country. Yeah. It's not like oh, I'm doing this because I make a ton of money. It's because now sickening. I can't. Because when someone gets into office, I can't trust that they're not doing it just for because the money. Of the money. Yeah, you got that. What also makes sure the people doing it, you know, just love the country. That way, they are doing it, not for the money, but for like, yeah, they love the country instead. Yeah, sorry, dudes. We're both on. We're both on our phones. <laughs> look, look what that, Lexi just commented on this. That your girlfriend? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna reply. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good looking. Ain't Hell you? yeah. Six months and strong. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna put that now. <laughs> six months going strong. <laughs> uh. But, you know, like, it's it's one of those things of, like, especially with COVID going on, people have been saying, like, we need to, we like, like people are dumb. We need to trust. Like, that's a, that's people's arguments. It's like, we need the government because, because American citizens are dumb. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you think a politician is? It's and literally it, just an American citizen that is in an office. Yep. So they're dumb and greedy. Well, you got to realize... The, uh, all the politicians in America are supposed to be like treated as citizens. We're all supposed to be treated the same. Yet they elevate these po- politicians onto another level even, because of the amount of money they oh make. My gosh, that is why. Even just like how we talk about them, people mm-hmm. treat Trump like God. Well, the thing mm-hmm. is, I treat him like trash. So <laughs> <laughs> it might even itself out. Let's hope. But again, it's like we 
we put these things on such high pestle he- pedestals. Pedestals. Pestles? Pestles. <laughs> we put them on such high pestals. Um to the Fair. point where like you say that like you don't want to participate in it. Yeah. You that, people label you like I've been told that's a form of treason. Yeah, literally I'm not voting because both of the options are terrible people. Dude. They are both just Terrible. I've been told that I'm not helping my country. That's I'm like, like are you I kidding? S- me? I see these commercials that says, "Make sure you register to vote, 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 vote." It's like there's no one good to fucking vote for, so why am I gonna vote? It's only it's, like it's because this year it's the low, like they've had the lowest rate of registered people. Yeah, and it's because like, no one likes the people running. Why the fuck do you think? It's like look at the two people you have running for this country. You could. Tell me there is not someone better that could be running for this office. Dude. There is, like, I could literally probably go in Hill City and find someone better find to run someone. for that, for, to run for freaking president. Casey. I could, yeah, I, <laughs> Casey would be a good president. You would. Compared to, he's only, like, 19. No, yeah. I, I, he's 20, but he would still, like, Oh, he's 20? I, he, actually, I think he's, dang, I think old. he's younger than me, actually. So I think he is 19. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so he would make a better president than either of the two old farts that are talking on TV. He actually gives a crap. I feel like both of these guys, they claim to give a crap, but I think Trump only cares about his money, his family. His Joe money. Biden only cares about the money. His, Biden <laughs> can't it. remember his middle name. But all he knows is that he likes to sniff little girls. That's about all he knows. You know, the, the little... Little boys in the pool would come in and they rub my leg down. Did he say that? And all my hairs would turn blonde. <laughs> Did you never see that? Did he actually say yeah, that? Yeah, he said that. God, he's such I'm gonna a pull up the. I'm gonna, I'll pull up the clip. See, I got like... I have a little respect for Trump as he doesn't really take advantage of little kids. That's why I... Oh, yeah. That's People like it. tried to like push that thing of him saying that like he hired Russian hookers so that he could pee on them, but I don't think that went anywhere. I don't anywhere. think he peed on them. I think he just totally uh, full-on fucked them. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's probably what happened. We never said he was a lo- like a loyal husband. <laughs> Look at his wife. I mean, she's obviously a gold digger. You don't, oh, my gosh. You don't think she's with Trump for his looks. I mean, he looks worse uh, than me. He's literally... He looks worse than probably, like, someone who's 70 years old. Like, I yeah. guess he's 70, but... Yeah. He, he looks, like, so terrible. I mean, look, compare him to Samuel Jackson, who's like 69. Dude. <laughs> it's like so You want to know something? Tr- uh, do you know John Stan in town? John, no, I don't. No? He used to sub, uh, he sub for English a couple times at the high oh, school. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bald yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. He's eight years younger than Trump. Holy He's 68. Shit. He looks so much. He I looks thought he was like, like 50. I was going to say, he looks in his 50s. Here. Oh, you got hold the, on. It's playing in the truck again, Carter. It is. Very legs that turn that 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 that, that, that turn uh, uh, <laughs> blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. <laughs> so it was tri- and by the way, you know what I got? Of, I got. Kids were reaching in the pool and rub my leg down. Why? And that was he was saying that during like a press conference, like a serious thing. Why did he say in that? In front of an audience. Because I know he is. Both of them are. Yeah. I guess Trump is a little more stable in the mind, but he's still a terrible <laughs> did, person. Did, did he actually say that thing where he was like, doctors have never seen COVID clear up in a body as fast as mine. They said that I've got strong DNA, but it's not DNA. It's USA. <laughs> I don't think that's real, but what I what I loved was when he was making fun of Biden for wearing a mask, and then he, oh, and then he got COVID. He catches it two days later. Look at him wearing um, masks everywhere. I don't wear masks anywhere. And then COVID. Honestly, I don't want anyone to die, but it would have been kind of poetic justice. That would have been. <laughs> Not that you want him to die, you just want the poetic justice. Honestly, Mike Pence, so much better choice to run for president. Oh. But he wants so, to electrocute gays. Really? No. Okay. That's a freaking... Okay. There was that one point that, like, he, like, said something about, like, conversion therapy, mm-hmm. but it wasn't even in favor of it. Yeah. So then by the time... Like, this was around 2016 when they were running. Mm-hmm. Everybody was saying, like, oh, yeah, he hates gays and wants to electrocute the gays out of children. No. Like, that's not what he said at all. I don't... I, yeah, I don't like anyone near 
the most powerful position in the country. One, one of the toughest, but again, like one of the toughest things about there being like a two party system like there is, what do you do if you're pro Second Amendment and pro choice? Yeah. What do you do? See, honestly, can't do anything. I, this is something I, this is so controversial to talk about. It's like, think about that girl. She is already going through so much. She does not need you hating her for doing that. It yeah. is so bad that people do that. It's like she is already feeling like crap. Just let the girl be. It's, yeah. It's terrible that people do that. What girl? I'm talking about, like, ones who get abortions. Oh, it's yeah. like It's like that girl is already going through so much emotionally, yeah. mentally. Just don't like Like, I've said her, before, like, don't I'm... Don't make it worse. I don't even think that I really have a position, like, in the debate. Mm-hmm. I know that, like, if I were to, like, say that I were with somebody and they got pregnant, yeah, I would tell them, like... I will be the father. Well, like, this don't is get so one. sickening to hear. I, I'm obviously I don't like the thought of killing babies, but it's like it's sickening to hear that when a girl gets raped and like she becomes pregnant, that the people pro life, it's like oh that girl has to carry the baby, you know, to like have it. It's sickening. No. That girl did not even want to have a kid in the first place. She wasn't doing this for fun. Yeah. She literally had no choice in the matter. It's I'm well because. It's and it's one of those things though. Like I, I, I want to make sure that like the boundaries are put there though, because mm-hmm. I don't want it to just be a form of birth control. Yeah. Um, because like, like I actually saw some things like some people like saying, "What if a girl's raped?" It's like, oh, okay, so you only want abortions if the girl's raped. That's like, well, no, it's the woman's choice. It's like, oh, okay, so you're just making excuses then. Why? It's stupid. Like, 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 I, I really don't. I can kind of I can see where someone comes from with mm-hmm. the rape thing, but it's like that's your excuse. Yet you also want them to have it when that's not the case. Yeah. So you're just like give it like, it's <sighs> honestly it should be up to the woman. But... Yeah, it's weird. Like I don't know. I've gone back and forth on it, and at this point it's just kind of like. But again, this is a reason why I don't get involved in politics. It's mm-hmm. like I got my own life to deal with. Like I, when when that situation comes into play with me then I worry about it I'll make an opinion sure honestly I don't know it depends on the girl I get pregnant <laughs> but <laughs> obviously I don't like, I don't condone like let's say killing right babies, now but... Haley and I have even talked about this like if something were to happen or like tomorrow she were to yeah yeah we would both I agree you never kissed a girl Carter we said if it happens you just said when it happens when because <laughs> Haley and I love each other and we are good holy children but <laughs> okay. I I say as I don't believe in God but <laughs> uh, but we've said in the past like if that were to happen mm-hmm. we both agreed we would have the kid and parent it together yeah. so if Teenagers it's a, if it's a woman that you know you're doing this out yeah. of choice in my opinion that's where it's wrong I don't want I don't want Haley to just like like I don't know it's tough you know when I talked to this uh, bringing Austin back up when yeah. I talked to him about this you know what he said what he said oh I'd pop a ring on that finger quicker than <laughs> just something <laughs> like that he's like I'd marry that girl on the spot <laughs> oh. which honestly that's honorable I, I, yeah. I, I, it's good that he would take responsibility that's yeah it's like it shows that he has the kid in mind you know yeah. Cause Which you that's know a big he thing does. He is caring. He just has a lot of flaws. Yeah, that's just his thing. But everyone, has like, flaws. like I said, he's got qualities I yeah. respect. I'm not gonna say he's an all like all bad. Yeah, he's guy. not a bad person. He just oh. has some. Everyone has bad parts to them. He just like me. Yeah. I'm too good looking. Well, honestly, so it keeps people from talking to me properly but because then I they just balance that out because I'm even better looking. Oh, thanks, so. bro. See, I look like a, I look like fucking dog shit compared to this guy. Yeah, I, I have a pretty uh, beautiful face. He's got a be- He's got a pretty mug. Looks like Q from I Practical gotta... Jokers. Yeah, that guy's <laughs> probably one of the sexiest men alive. So, I mean, I look good. so what do you think? <laughs> um, what were What were you gonna say? I was gonna. S- I can't remember. Talk Damn about, it, Carter! Ta- talking it. about Austin. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to think. Um, I can't. Figure, I can't remember for the life of me. Just keep talking. Okay. Okay. Um. I. You know. I'll actually talk about that real quick. Mm-hmm. Um. 
Oh, the no, only... I know what it is. Oh, okay, okay, go. Okay, I was going to say, everyone has problems. It's yeah. just with Austin, they're more, like, out in the open. You can see them better. Yeah. That's with him. That's what I was going to say. I would consider so. that his blessing and his curse. Yeah. Because, like I said, I, I've dealt with too many fake bitches. And I can appreciate that he's at least real. Dude. He says dumb things, but I've he doesn't hold back. I've literally had such an emotional talk with a woman, and then she gets fucked by some other guy like five minutes later. Yeah. It, it happens. Probably Austin. It, no, it was not Austin. Okay. It was some other asshole. Oh, okay. Um, You don't talk about like the, the popping the, pop the ring on the finger, though? Yeah. I'll actually say, the only reason that I want to get married mm-hmm. is because I think it's better for kids to have two parents there yeah. like binded like that but the more I've gone on I've actually kind of realized marriage is kind of weird it is weird like See, okay you know why I'm gonna do it what money <laughs> money it's cheaper to be married it's just how it is but it's but it's also like I can say that that woman is my wife she's my life partner yeah why do I need a why do I need to get the government involved yeah why do i need a governmental contract on our on our love life government is way way too involved it's just yeah. stupid but do you want to hear something kind of messed up this would this would probably fit with austin's view yeah very well in my opinion men were made to make men were made to mate with multiple women just biologically yeah. though that's but, the thing and then guess what you know which one has a higher population on the earth huh. women so there's less <laughs> men on her, and men were That men. makes sense, though, because, yeah. like, one man can impregnate multiple yeah. women. You, you know how many kids a guy can have in just, like, nine months? Like, how thousands. How many women? You fuck a woman once a day? Yeah. For, like, nine months? Okay, so that's so that's about 270 days? Yeah. That's 270 kids yeah, right there. You can have so many kids. Even Genghis Khan yeah. is responsible for, like, 10% of China's <laughs> current population. That's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what a dude. One guy did all that. Gosh. <laughs> um, I, obviously, I think it's important to be loyal to one person. Well, yeah. It's just biology. Yeah, that's how like, we were made. And that's the thing. We even, like, studies have even shown that, like, primates are naturally polygamous. Yeah. Because we're just kind of made to just mate. Mm-hmm. You know, just ha- make babies. Yeah. Polygamy, or, crap, not polygamy. Monogamy. That's why, like, is you know, a, kind of against yeah. our nature. You know, packs of animals. That's why there's only one male and a ton of females. It's like, is, is that, it really that way? I'm pretty sure with most lion pack, like packs, yeah, wolf. wolf packs. Yeah. Pretty sure, like, when the males reach a certain age, the dominant one chases them out. Yeah. To... Um. You want to know, dude? Hyenas fascinate me. Yeah. Cause they're cause they're a matriarchy, like the females are in charge. Did I ever <laughs> did I tell you about the fake I dicks? I think you did. Yeah. They hump each other. <laughs> no, see, they, they like scare off because the men are so feral oh, and like yeah. like just like bloodthirsty that they'll eat the babies. Oh. So yeah. the moms have those fake dicks and then they'll fuck them out like fuck them scared. That is the weirdest thing. Ever. <laughs> Beyond fuck straight. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> But, like, they're like, get the fuck off of my baby. And, like, they'll, like, rape the dudes to be like, get the fuck out of here. Gosh. <clears throat> I guess it's effective. It is effective. Well, damn. What time is it? 9.30. 9.30. Good Lord. Yeah. We talked a while. Good. Hour and a half. Uh, well, I mean, on I'm, us. we haven't lost momentum yet. No. Let's, let's keep going. Shit. Um. What are you going to do for YouTube now? YouTube? Yeah. Well, so... Because if you guys it. don't know, he used to be Cinema Corner, but he got rid of those videos because he wants to focus on his reptiles now. Biology, mainly. Biology, yeah. Might do a little music here and there. So. Yeah. Uh, I'd say mainly, yeah, reptiles. I plan on turning my house, essentially, into a reptile sanctuary, so... Don't do that with the apartment. No, I, dude, I have six. <laughs> okay. Be, I have six that'll be. Dude, the apartment is meant for my sex dungeon, not your fucking Make weird... Make your bedroom. My bedroom can be like the the little speck of light our, in the dark dungeon. Our thing could just be like a like a happening pad in <laughs> Rapid. And people show up and it's like, in this room, you'll see a sex dungeon. In this room, you'll see a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be the best apartment I visited. It's just like, I don't know which one to go to first. Let's see, is there hot women in the sex dungeon? <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, 
Yes. <laughs> un- <laughs> unfortunately, there's too many, to be honest. But we've, guess what? We're almost reaching capacity in that room because <laughs> there's just too many hot bitches. It's like, you do this to a guy you really don't like. <laughs> it's like, but I got them all taken care of. <laughs> and then close the door. It's like, it's like, hey, I understand the stress with it all. I'll take care of it for you, my guy. <laughs> don't worry. You go have fun in this room. <laughs> just, no! No! Um, yeah, I'll say that. Um, there will probably be a period coming up within the next month or two that I won't be uploading for a little bit. A little while. A little while, because I'm going to be moving soon. I'm getting finances and work in order now so that I can move. Uh, I live in Hill City, which is just a small town in South Dakota. Little rinky-dink, boring town. Little rinky-dink, boring town. And so I'm going to be moving to a city, not really a city, but big town. That's, uh... It's about 30 miles outside of Hill City. West. Yeah. And so I'm going to be living there. Uh, I'll have my own I'll have my own apartment. I'm for sure going to be living with this guy. Possibly Ailey and possibly Ace and his brother. Um, but this guy for sure is on board, so mm-hmm. I, I'm going to be living with him. For at least six months. Yeah. So, Dude, be collabing all the freaking time. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, yeah. I'm not going to make you do anything you're uncomfortable with, but I'm going to be doing some fun-ass shit. So. Like meth. No. That is the worst thing you can do. But it's fun. No. no That's why no, people see, get so you, hooked on it. You know what's fun? Cheetos. Cheetos. You know what else is fun? What? You know what's really fun with Cheetos? What? Heroin. No, no, dude, just, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Doritos. Okay. <laughs> you know what's fun with Doritos, though? Sex. Sex and... Drugs and rock and roll. And PCP. PCP, is that the stuff you put in your penis? No. Oh. Well, it might be, I don't know how you put it in. <laughs> but I know that that's the drug that makes you really angry and violent. Ah, uh, you're thinking of steroids. That's, <laughs> you're thinking of juice, my guy. It's all juice. Don't, um, just you ever say. heard of crocodile? No. That's a drug. Um, I I saw a documentary on it on I think A and E. Yeah. Um, but you take it, crocodile. But uh oh, here we go, crocodile. Cro- crocodile. Um, desomorphine, also also nicknamed crocodile is a semi-synthetic opioid commercialized by rock with powerful la- fast-acting effects such as sedation and analgesia. Don't know what that means. Does that mean like your anus just erupts? Probably. Sounds painful. But this, uh, the reason that it's called that is because the skin morphs it's and yeah, it morphs to look like reptilian skin That's to the point where people have actually had like, like fingers fall off because of crocodile. Um, Why do that? That's what it, that's what it looks like. So um, what's it? That, make, does it give you high or what's it do to you? I mean, it it has to. I'm gonna look that up. What kind of high? Well, it's because it's like it's not worth what losing fingers. Kind of high does cat, Kush? Cats. What is that good Kush? <laughs> give oh catnip. catnip. Give cats. I've actually read it gives them a buzz. Catnip does. Does it? Yeah. It's... My cat goes insane. It's like coke for. It's like crack for. I him. think it's like a high for him. What honestly. kind of high does crocodile have? It's also called Russian magic. Short. Opioid. Oh, euphoria. So it's like it makes you happy because it's an opioid. Still, you can do other things that do that. So why do this? I mean, we can make you happy. Honestly, sex does the same thing. Sex. It's. Sex is a drug. Sex is indeed a drug. The most if... addicting drug in history. Like. Okay, the logic of, like, most drugs being outlawed, they say it is um, a substance that you consume that changes your behavior. Mm-hmm. Six do, do, do you know what? Yeah, like, if we, were, if we were to use that logic and apply that to everything that fits in that category, nothing would be legal. Nope. Well, I guess technically prostitution Sugar. is. Sugar. Sugar does give you a high. It's same with caffeine. Caffeine. Oh, does. you know what? You're right. Sex is legal as long as there's no money involved. So, I can have weed if it's free. Honestly, I, the only people that necessarily get in like deep trouble with it is like selling it. But it's see, like, but that's also a thing. It's like that's people's argument mm-hmm. for it. it's like people don't get in trouble for just smoking pot. They get in trouble for dealing pot, and it's like they get in trouble for that because yeah. it's illegal. So it yeah. still doesn't make sense. They still, honestly, that is such a dumb law. 
think about it. It's like drugs. Yeah, it's like why is something like alcohol legal, but that is yeah. illegal? Again, I'm not okay with like the hardcore drugs. Oh well, yeah, but, but we, not good. you know, me and my brother mm-hmm. were talking about this, and we came up with a really cool solution for it. Um, instead of saying this drug is outlawed, mm-hmm. instead, what you should do is like increase the charge if there is influenced by substance mm-hmm. at all. So, um, like, because the arguments that people will give me is like, if you make drugs legal, then they're going to be more common. There's going to be more on the streets. So then the crimes involving drugs are going to go up. It's like, no, that doesn't make sense. The crimes because of drugs are happening because they're still it's happening. illegal. Like, like it's... someone said, oh, if you can get weed at a pharmacy, then people are just going to rob pharmacies. It's like, they already do yeah. for like sleeping pills. Yep. Um, but... First off, using that argument, people rob a place for money and food. Are we going to outlaw dollar bills and burgers? Yeah, no, we're stupid. not. But what me and my brother said was there should be charges. So say that a guy were to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, he were to rob a... Say that he were to rob a store one night for cash. Yeah. That's looked at as aggravated aggravated robbery. Aggravated theft. Yep. If he were to do it the next night for a drug, you would say aggravated theft for the purpose of a substance so then that's a higher sentence yeah so when drugs are involved in the crime whether the person is on it or that's the main goal is the drugs increase the sentence on it so So like if someone murders somebody Mm -hmm. on meth increase the sentence from just a standard murder the way i see it in my opinion people addicted to substances are treated way too harshly because look at look at it through their eyes they tried it once and then you know it addiction happens like addiction is tough dude Honestly, instead of them sentencing them to prison or something like that, send them to therapy. Send get them cle- yes. get them cleaned up. Then you know, cause they're if and then like you know, force... obviously if they hurt it, hurt someone, then you know, yeah. uh, do the appropriate charge. But other than that, that's... Adam and I actually said that exact thing. Like, yeah. for when it comes to stuff like that, just do like enforced rehabilitation. Mm-hmm. And so, like, if they... Do, so, the way that we put it is, say that a guy were to do, like, manslaughter. Mm-hmm. It was an accident. He didn't have any malicious intent going in. Yeah. He just accidentally killed a guy. Put him in rehab. Like, like do something that shows him what he did that was mm-hmm. wrong, how he can avoid it in the future. If he chooses to not go to the classes, mm-hmm. that is negligence, and it shows that he doesn't care about avoiding the crime again. Yeah. Therefore, you can argue that there's some intent in there. Yeah. Or at least no intent to fix the problem. So that is a uh, punishment time, like, like like sentencing, stuff like that. So you can do the same thing with drugs, you know? It, just put someone in rehab. Yep. If they're doing the drugs again, it's like, okay, you didn't listen. Yeah, and then... Now it's them. sentencing. Yeah. Give them a chance. Give them a chance, though. It's like, mm-hmm. again, like, I know so many people that do drugs... Like, it sucks that they do them, but they're not bad people. Yeah. There's no way that I can call those people criminals. Well, it's kind of like people are addicted to nicotine, Oh, well, hello. Who's that? I don't know. Some loser. Was he watching? No, no, oh, no. I'm just editing a video. Oh, who? Oh, what? This is me. Oh, I was gonna... You look bald in that. Oh, it's because I had the... I had the... The ponytail. Oh. So... I had a ponytail, so it's all pulled back. You looked like you were missing all hair. <laughs> um, that was actually the first. That was actually the haircut I got. My hair just grows rapidly. Oh. I actually just got it cut two hours ago. That's awesome. Because it was already back down to here. <laughs> um, man. I love you, cheese ball. Yeah, Haley calls me your cheese ball. <laughs> you do look like a cheese ball. Thanks. <laughs> You don't don't start calling me cheese ball though. That would be weird. I'll call you Cheeto. Cheeto? Hey, I dig it. We had a we had a neighbor named Chino. Chino. Nicest guy ever. <laughs> yeah. This he was like a buff Mexican guy. Yeah. And every morning just Hello <laughs> And uh Spencer when we moved here he was super young. So he was like, Mom, where's Cheeto? And so we all just called him Cheeto. <laughs> And I think he knew, because, like, one time I was just like, hey, Cheeto. He was like, hey, hello. <laughs> he didn't care. Yeah, he didn't care. There's he, so many nice people. He was such a cool there. dude. Although it sucked, because his roommate, like, like, creeped in on my sister. Really? Like, like looked through her windows. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was fucked. So was, did they both move in? The dude's gone, yeah. Uh, that's sad. Che- uh, Chino, well, actually, Chino lived in the lived in that house before Javi did. 
Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, huh. When did Javi move here? I think like six years ago. So not two Because I've lived here for 11 years. Hmm. So yeah, it was about six. He's much. been here for a while, but it yeah. hasn't been for the entire time that I was here. Huh. So. Did um, he always go to Hill City? Or? Yeah, he always did. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Um, he just lived in a different house before, though. Huh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, is there anything else to talk about? Uh, I mean, if you're done, I guess if it's up know. to you. If you want to talk about maybe some more lighthearted things. I mean, this has been a pretty deep. It's been a deep, deep thing. <laughs> um, what are your goals for Florida? Florida. So eventually, I obviously want to find a girl that's okay with. Going down, to, yeah, and looks decent in a bikini. I'm gonna say that she's got put that on de- your Tinder. She's gonna look decent. If the thing is for girls, if they don't look good, I'm not gonna walk up and talk to you. I know that's hateful, but it's in our biology. It's just something that that hey, is that hey. first judge of character. There's a me. difference between prejudice and discrimination. For me, when a girl you're just discriminating, it's not necessarily negative. Yeah, you're just like choosing. And I'm not gonna date a girl that weighs more than me or even (laughs) like that's just the thing it's what if she's like seven foot so she's actually like really skinny but she still weighs more than you i'm not talking about like height ratio i'm talking about fat ratio do you do you need a girl that's shorter than you yes that is also another thing i discriminate against you got to be decently skinny and shorter than me that's my thing i think i feel like that's why i haven't had a girlfriend is because i am so picky when it comes to women it's It's all right hey but that means that when you find one, yeah. she'll be real good. I know. And plus, I think you'll actually find that like once you like actually start dating, yeah, your standards go up. No, no, they go down. Hmm. At least I found it that way for me. It's like once you start to date girls, you just kind of see like, hey, it's real easy to, f- to have a good time with some girls. Yeah. So like you won't even notice some of your see, standards. See, for me, I don't mind girls with curves. But they can't be... It's not like, don't call fat curves. Because that's not curves. Oh, yeah. That's, Rolls are not curves. Yeah, that's not curves. You're just... Huh. You've ate one too many I Big got Macs. curves in my skin. No, you're just <laughs> fucking fat. <laughs> that's all you are. You look like a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got one patty too many there. That's... It's, the, it's the Grand Mac that you <laughs> could get Mac. where they put in an extra patty. Dude, I hate the regular Big Mac. It's so gross. <laughs> like flavor wise? I just don't like big I don't like McDonald's anymore, Yeah. So the secret sauce is pretty dang good, but if you Well could, yeah, but you can if you could get that, that on a real burger. Honestly do that on a chicken sandwich. That would be really good. Dude. That would be amazing. Chicken I think Mac, they, don't they sell Mac it? chicken. Don't they sell the secret sauce somewhere? I don't think so. I was gonna say definitely I they nowhere used to. definitely nowhere here. They in might Missouri. have in Missouri, but in Missouri everyone's kinda of fat. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um dude. Think about it though, the mac chicken. The mac chicken. Yeah. Mac chicken. Do like do like art like either artisan grilled or like the the buttermilk chicken. Honestly, you could have either choice. Why not? So either choice. Do like two patties. <sighs> boom boom. Oh. That would honestly, I would. I just don't know. I'm very sketchy when I eat McDonald's now because I've had. Everybody so, should be. It's like I've had too many bad experiences there. It's. Spencer got yeah. like a severely undercooked patty. Yeah. When he got a when he I got a quarter pounder, it was a pink. It was pink. Oh god! And theirs always come out gray, so it's like that's like real bad. Yeah, I just <laughs> I don't know. I I wouldn't want to work at a McDonald's. I mean, one of the girls I talked to actually up at uh, that college I went visited, she used to work at one in Rapid. It, I couldn't do that. Oh. <laughs> it would be the worst job ever. Sure. Um, I saw a thing and it was like. It was like, yo, I love my, I love my McChick, I, or it was like, I love my McChicken medium rare, and it was literally just like raw chicken uh, when he bit uh, into it. Dude, that's so gross. I thought you were so going to say. Manella, Ella, Ella. I love a. my McChick, and then you send a picture of your girlfriend. Oh no. I love my McChick. Gross. I'm yeah, trying okay. to stop with McDonald's, Clay. Don't encourage me. You're already fat, so just endorse it, Carter. No. Oh, get gross. Oh, that really Ugh. hurts when I do that, actually. Yeah, don't. Like, don't. I'm pushing too hard. He's out of shape. Natural abs. <laughs> Again, this is all I got for body hair. Uh, you want to see mine? I, oh, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. What the? I oh. am, I'm definitely getting waxed before my oh. mom's wedding next year. So. Holy crap. Yeah. Why don't you just get it, get it, like, just trim it? Because I want it waxed. That way it doesn't grow back by the time I get there. Oh, you want your chest to be bald. I want, I, even my back. I have. Back is understandable. Uh, but I've seen some dudes, like, just, like, keep it, like, trimmed, mm -hmm. well kempt. Looks. You don't like the chest Honestly, hair? Honestly, I'm planning on being a lot skinnier by next summer, so I just want it all waxed off. So. Yeah. Be like a swimmer, Michael mm -hmm. Phelps style. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to shave the armpits. They're no. stained. So. I, I trim mine because I don't like yeah. the hairs to be too long. Mm -hmm. um, mine, honestly, it just maxes out. It doesn't, it just Dude, mine get like, out. I get the stragglers. It doesn't grow too The ones long. that look like Freddy Krueger's yeah. claws. See, and it's kind of nice, too, because here it just maxes out at a certain length. Like, it doesn't really See, grow again, I don't get that. Like, these, I'll get some of these hairs that, like, go out to, like, here. Gross. It's like, oh no. <clears throat> See, I don't get those. Pull it off like a shoelace and it's like. Maybe, yeah, okay, my toe hair. I get those. That's the, that's the only spot I get it there. Though. Yeah. All of my hair when I get it. Oh. So, Florida, I said. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, girl. you want a chick that's okay with reptiles. Yeah. I what guess. else? Uh, a big house. A decent house. That doesn't have to be big. But. So, hot girl, a uh, lot of reptiles, big house, and bald chest. Yeah. <laughs> well, then my backyard is kind of just going to be full of animals for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think I honestly, I'm very much a guy, I'm going to sound like such a basic white bitch here, but it's like, <laughs> I love exploring. So just give me like a small house in the woods. Not, not, not too far that. away from civilization. Like kind of like, mm -hmm. like if it weren't so expensive, something on Old Hill City. Yeah. That'd be that'd that would be nice. Be perfect. But there's a ton of people that live out there. Ton of people and, dude, it is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Like there's no way that I can live in the Black Hills yeah, in the future. It's terrible. That's why I'm moving out of here too. I'm yeah, your your dad can't afford it, can't he? Barely, he barely does. But yeah, scraped by. Luckily, like my parents make good money, so like. And, like, this is one of the cheaper ways to go, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, Matkins isn't that expensive, like, yeah. with trailer courts. But if you want a decent house out here, you, you know, gotta be, like, a business owner. Well, and Spearfish, they actually do have decent houses for cheap. Yeah. It, I was looking at them. It's like, there's a four-bedroom house for $1,000 a month. It's really not... Oh, my gosh! Yeah, it's not that bad. Dude! What? It's cheap. Oh, my fucking... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's why I'm moving up to Spearfish. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. Dude. Well, and imagine if you have roommates, too. That goes down quite yeah. a bit. So it's... Like, four bedrooms. Everybody gets their own bedroom. Yeah. And you only have to pay two fifty a month. Yeah. It's... Plus, good deal. like, whatever for utilities. Utilities are included. Are they? Yeah. What the fuck? It, it was crazy. It's utilities are included. But it is a college town. So yeah. that might be why for, like, students, but... That's that's another thing. Like Shadron is actually pretty good to live in too. Yeah. It's pretty cheap. Because yeah, college town. If there was more in Nebraska, mm -hmm. I'd probably live in a place like Shadron. It's just so you know? boring. <laughs> Shad Nebraska. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's and bad. even even here, it's so boring. That's the it's the thing. It's like I felt the same way with Wyoming because yeah. I because I went on that big road trip. Yep. We stayed in a town called Cody. Cody. Oh. It's got like nine thousand people. Did in you it. go it's to that big. Sheridan by any chance? I think we went through it. Okay, I was going to say that's where my mom was. I went oh, really? up there uh, and cool. stayed three days the past weekend. So nice. It was nice. Yeah, that's a nice spot. It's got the big mountain range there. Went yeah. on a three mile hike. So nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty nice. Um, but Cody, first off, it's fifty miles outside of Yellowstone. Yeah. Uh, but that town, it's it's only like nine thousand people. It's not big at all. Um, the, but it's still got like a Walmart and everything like that. So you literally don't have to leave. Mm -hmm. The only problem is the only other town, like close to Cody, is like fucking fifty miles away. Yeah. Like there's nothing in Wyoming. Yeah, and I'm telling you, this is not the part of the country for people like us to it's live. Fly over state for a reason. It's, well, I'm talking about even South Dakota. It is yeah. so boring here. Like Black just, Hills at the most are like an exciting part, mm -hmm. but like you go anywhere you back get east. Bored of them so quick though. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I'm honestly kind of upset that I grew up here as long as I did mm -hmm. because at, at this point like it's like I look at Mount Rushmore it's not special no 
or Crazy Horse. It's like, I've lived here three, actually four years almost. Four years yeah. and you're sick of it. Yeah, I don't like Mount Rushmore. Anymore. I've been to Mount Rushmore ten times in my life and yeah. I'm just like, I can only look at but four yeah. faces for so yeah. long. That's why I think, honestly, the best places to live, Florida or California. That's in the U.S. California's anyway. too much people for me. See, I'm, I'm a guy that I, I like. Love, I like small yeah. amounts of people. Mm-hmm. Well, not really small, just not big city. But I'm an extra. You know, so I you lo- I love I love being like around like people, towns so. that are the size of like Rapid. Mm-hmm. Perfect for me. Because you know? I just hate staying inside by myself. I have yeah. I love interacting with people. That's yeah. just how I am. You'd be pretty dank as a cashier then. No. No. <laughs> I'd accidentally give someone a hundred dollar bill instead of a one. So <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. You're getting two hundred out of your paycheck because of that. What what why? Well, I only give away one hundred. The other hundreds cause you're stupid. The other hundreds for wasting my time. <laughs> uh, Son of a bitch. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I only made two hundred and three dollars on this check. <laughs> Just come home with three bucks. This is what I got to get by for two weeks. <laughs> it's like, oh, we forgot to tell you that there's also actually the surcharge <laughs> to actually printing out your check. So, yeah. I got 50 cents. 50 cents. <laughs> by 50 cents a gas. 50, oh my gosh. <laughs> get you like, get you like one block. Uh, you know how it slows down before it stops? Yeah. It would literally be that speed the whole time that <laughs> was filling up. You'd waste all, you'd waste the 50 cents just by like shifting it into, into drive. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like you accelerate once and then it just stops because it's out of gas. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. <laughs> um, let me think. What else there? What are you doing? Me? How about, yeah, and like, by the time I moved to Florida, I guess. What would I be doing? Yeah. Honestly, I I just want to be living life, you know? Well, because I know I don't got any to... major plans. Yeah. Just hopefully have a good enough vehicle that, like, I can... Travel. Travel if I want to. Mm-hmm. Um, Want to work on stories. Nice. Make YouTube videos, and that's pretty much it. You should honestly call up. You can tell stories through music, too. That's what I like. You can. We need Again, to... I could, like, if I can figure out this animation thing well, I could make music videos for you. I was going to say, we can honestly... Honestly, I'm not very musically inclined when it comes to playing instruments. But That's all right. I got a decent singing voice. It's good. It's decent. Like, you, like keep working on it. Yeah. You'll sound fantastic. Yeah, but it's just, honestly, I got, like, I don't know. I'd have, I would like to bounce ideas off you for music. But yeah, sure. And honestly, I'm not I'm not the most musically inclined guy. Well, all you do, what I do for music, just write down what comes to your head, and then you work through it. Yeah. You edit it. Just edit it like what would be good to keep, what would be good to yeah. remove. That's like a YouTube video. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> sort of. Don't. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> don't but push it. Don't don't push your don't push your limits here. Um uh is there any question that you have about the animation coming up? No, which one was it? Uh, this this one's gonna be the sci fi story. Oh well, how far are you on that? I am right now I'm still like in the in the early development process. Mm-hmm. I was actually wondering, um since you're kinda like since you're more of the movie guy, mm-hmm. I was wondering if you would kind of want the loose title of, I guess, production director, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so like I you can, so like that. you can help with like casting and stuff yes, like that. I'll do that. Um, getting stuff because, because Adam has a huge history with like, lo- kind of story writing, but also mm-hmm. just like, character building and world building and stuff like that because he plays D and D. Yeah. So he's done a ton of those like tabletop games where he's just like made worlds so I've considered him creative director yeah um I think it'd be super cool if if you could be the one that's like 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 he'll help me with casting you'll help with production of the animation stuff like that Mm -hmm. I'd do that sweet I got some good casting tool yeah get you on a voice essentially just a bunch of drunk college kids hell yeah (laughs) let's do that (laughs) um your character's almost figured out yeah. Um, I think your guy 
I, I still like the the idea of your guy like being equipped for fighting in the apocalypse, but you're mm-hmm. kind of like you have a problem with taking things seriously. Yeah. Like you still just like joke around, so like literally everyone that you care about has to die for you to like get real. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> so like um the way that I did it is uh um the way that you so like you and Haley are still really good. Like your characters are still really good story, yeah. uh, really good friends in the story. <laughs> um, I'm so tired, but uh, <laughs> no, we can call no, it no. In a little while. Oh, I want to finish this. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, you actually are an apprentice to um, a farmer, because because with this being the sci-fi story, mm-hmm. um, did I tell you about this? There's like a world that people go on to. For like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the work and refuge plan, yeah. and there's a guy on it, which is actually my cat's character, <laughs> Griswold. Mm-hmm. He's a, um, he's a farmer, yeah, and he takes you on as a, as an apprentice. They catch, uh, he finds Haley after her parents were just killed. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he finds her, and so he, so you both live on the farm with him. But then he's got his own kids, and they become characters, uh, and then it. Uh, so, like right around the time that the apocalypse is starting Griswold gets killed so that's the first person that you lose um, mm-hmm. and then another character I don't want to spoil it for the people listening but yeah like uh, he, yeah. he dies and then there are just a couple more people that you get attached to and so nice yeah that'd be interesting and then you end up like at the end of the series you're the guy that comes out like the Punisher like, like cutthroat. <laughs> yeah. Like you're yeah. like, kind of. Like I don't love anyone toughened, anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Toughened up by his experience. His yeah. Mad Max style. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then, so right now I'm just uh, I'm getting, ba- like I said, just the like early development stuff. I'm, I'm figuring out. I'm figuring out who the characters are. I'm doing like a character sheet, mm-hmm. just writing down like the features of every person that's in it. Yeah, there's a lot of people in it, but uh, I'm doing that. I, I've still got like a brainstorm sheet, so whenever I come up with an idea, I'll write it down there. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got, I've still got the journal, so that whenever I'm ready for actual like filming and character stuff. designs, oh, yeah, 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 I'll I'll start working on those. Figuring nice. out like like wardrobe for characters and stuff like that. Nice. It's gonna be fun. It would be fun. I, I'm looking forward to it. It'll I'm glad. Be fun to I'm watch. glad that you are willing to take part in this. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. Ugh. Maybe we could even do our own theme music. I I would like to, to compose some stuff. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you know it's sci-fi, so we could probably get Holden to like mix something Holden for us. And Modesi, I don't Holden know. and Modesi. Holden and Modesi. That'd be good. If if we can make it work, I really like the sound of like I said, like the orchestra mixed in with the tech. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would work for our story it really would. well. You just don't want to sound too much like other boring sci-fi movies. Yeah, there's so many out there that you know are so generic. It just yeah, mixed. It's that. funny, like none of them like seem to do like electron, like like EDM. Mm-hmm. Like none of them do dubstep. Yeah. It's all like every single sci-fi, like big sci-fi movie, does like the violin stuff, orchestral stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which I guess like it works on paper because it's like a juxtaposition from like the from like the high tech of the movie, but it it's gotten old. It's a little jarring, honestly. Yeah. Oh no, I think it works in one sci-fi movie, and that's about it. So, Which one? Oh, I'm mean, you mean the orchestral stuff, don't you? Yeah. So maybe. M- Maybe more than one, but the one that works in the best is definitely Star Wars. Yeah. And that's easily the best. Star Wars, um, some of the more serious ones, like Interstellar. I've never watched that, actually, so... Actually, a really good one that's got, like, that that kind of music is Prometheus. No, nah, it's actually a good movie. The yeah. Alien movies, all together, mm-hmm. they're just, yeah. Good score in those. They use it pretty well. And that's the thing, but that's the thing, though, it's like, with those types of movies... Like, dubstep wouldn't really work. No, it wouldn't. But I kind of want to, like, make one where it could work. Like, I want... My goal for this is to... For it... Like, it's a very, like, dark story. Like, I want it to be, like, dark and, like, gory and... 
like heartbreaking story, but I want it to look like a fun, popping animation. Yeah. Like I really want those two to juxtapose each other. Like I want the characters to look cartoony. I want there to be like bright, colorful. Vi- I want it to look kind of in the same vein of Into the Spider Verse. Like they weren't afraid to go out with like color yeah. and visual gags and stuff like that. I want to go for just, the- yeah. Have it be out there. Yeah. It's like very yeah. artistic. Honestly. It'll be it'll be really fun to experiment with. I you just need some... to it's gonna be like a few years before it's even done. Just make it like an acid trip, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> just like like have some confusing things in there. It's just... actually funny, um, cause um what causes the apocalypse is that there's like an alien life form yeah. that kinda takes over. Yep. And I thought it would be cool if it took over some plants. So then those kind of act as like drugs. <laughs> like like it like they kind of morph into these like mushroom looking things mm-hmm. and then so or, or like berries and someone eats them and then like there's just like a sequence of a character completely tripping oh i think that would be <laughs> awesome well see i don't, I don't want to sound too corny here i won't say it so oh come on just say no, it. I was gonna get say the idea out there my I, one of the songs i wrote was kind of just like on this idea of confusion it's yeah. like just confusion out there it's like because i kind of based it on the fact if you don't know i have insomnia like how do, do you, you how because you feel confused like you're trying to sleep but you can't so it's like i that's kind of how that song came to my head it's like i just wrote down basically what was in my head what i was thinking feeling kind of it's like because in the song i think it kind of depicts that really well because it's like confusion I really should have grabbed my notebook. I would love to share it with you, but it's like it just shows what people. It's kind of like it has a more upbeat tune because I yeah. got like the guitar beat in my head. I just can't play it. Yeah. It's so it's kind of like confusing, kind of just like it's confusion. That is what it is, and it's like, literally, it's got like an upbeat tune, and it's got these just it's like literally just a list of rhymes words. It goes like sleep, sleep, sleep. And then it goes, like, through several different things. It's just, like, rhyming things, like, slow, row, toe. It's just, it's crazy stuff. It's more artistic and, like, it's that, more experimental than, say, like, le- freaking music. But legitimately, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's it's weird, for sure. It's, yeah. That's super cool. I, I, I like that. I do. I It's, I don't know, since I wrote it, maybe I have a more biased that, a view that it's stupid, but, yeah. Hey, I don't know. You just want to make sure it's good? Well, I don't know? know how good it is at the moment. Like I said, once once I can hear that guitar beat, you know, for yeah. real. But, yeah. That's super cool. Man. Um. Because, like, the way I wanted it to open, too, it's like just a sudden, like, you know, the... And then it goes into that, like, the guitar beat kind of, like, I, I don't want to say it on here, but I can't. Is there like an app that where you can, I don't know. App for what? Where you can maybe enter guitar strings? I don't, I don't know. I think you can. I think there's somewhere you can like write tabs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's already 10 o'clock, boy. Two hours and seven minutes. That's kind of the beat I want to go for, honestly, is that. Oh, I love that. I don't know how good that is, but it's just... It's just kind of like something I want. Kind of like upbeat matching yeah. these weird words. Like, it's just like kind it's, of trippy. It's, it's upbeat, but it's also just like that perfect little sprinkle of, like, unsettling. Yeah. To go with the confusion. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, yeah, it's supposed to be just like a trip. It's like a weird trip into the mind of someone with insomnia. That's kind of what I'm trying to go for here. Because it's like, you really want to sleep. You really can't, though. It's like, so you're just sitting there confused as hell trying to sleep. That's that's the way I view it, anyway. But I'm, s- like, I'm seriously excited to hear more of that. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> nah. It's all right. 
It's just just the next hit, you know. It's not much. Uh, it's not a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't like if I were to have a band like that. I wouldn't mind keeping the Nirvana mindset of just like, I don't want to do this to get on the radio. Like I want to do this just for the fun of it. Yeah, have yeah. some fun with it, and if it makes one person's day better, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yeah, you can like, listen to it. That's how I am with YouTube. You know how. You know, like, the tricks that I could do right now to be, a, like, a scamming piece of shit mm -hmm. to get millions of subscribers on YouTube right now? Yeah. I could do it, but I don't care enough about... You just want to have fun. I want to have fun, mean. and if someone likes it, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But YouTube's my outlet for creativity and and just having fun, so if someone likes it, that's amazing, but... I would still be doing it this much if I had, like, four subscribers. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's just for fun. It's not meant to be, I don't see this, it's not a good main source of income. No, no. It's terrible. And that's the thing, it's like, I don't think I would even want to rely on this yeah. as, because. What if the app crashes? That's what I'm saying. One like, thing could happen, even just algorithms, you mm -hmm. know, like, one rule changes that I don't know about, and then, like, my videos get taken down. Or, like, my monetization just stops. It's done. Or, like, ads are messed up, and so yeah. I'm not getting money off of that. Yeah? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Sorry, that was Spencer. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's, like, and I even feel that way about my art, you know? Like, it's, I don't want to try and use it to make money. Yeah. I want to make it. And then if the money comes with it, that's awesome. Yeah, it's just, it's for your personal enjoyment. It's because you like it, doing it. It, I'm a, I'm trying, like, I try to be very, a very creative dude. Mm -hmm. And I know that just looking at the patterns, bringing money into it kind of takes that out. Yeah. And so I don't want to do that with my only outlets, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Don't do something you love for purely money. Yeah. That's a bad way to look at it. Because then if you do that, you're not going to express yourself. Yeah. You're just going to do what people buy. That's all you're going to yeah. do. And then, but though, no, if it is good and you know you're doing it the way you love it and people like that, yeah. then that's okay. Because then, you know, you're being yourself still. You're yeah. Not, you're not just trying to pander to crowds. It's, yeah, good. Because I want, I want there to be story behind my drawings, you mm -hmm. know? Like, stuff like this is different. Like, I'm doing this for something. Yeah. Like, my like the avatars, I'm using those for my videos. So even then, there's, you could argue that there's kind of story. Some stuff, yeah. But it's like, all of my fan arts, or not even fan arts, just like, pieces of art. Like, there's some kind of story behind it in some way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry to plug my, my, my merch to you. Yeah, it's entertaining. Dude. <laughs> but it's like cool. that, that's like the spider sona thing. Mm -hmm. This was just a drawing that I made back when I was like, like, fifteen. Dude, that is like. Or really uh, sixteen. That is impressively good, honestly. Thanks. Mm -hmm. This one is about a dream that I had. Um, the dream, like it was, like things were going like totally normal, and like I was dating Haley. Like mm -hmm. literally nothing changed in our relationship, mm -hmm. except for like she looked completely different. Then like she was like a short weird. she was a short girl with like with like dirty blonde hair <laughs> and I was like huh Straight oh that's just for YouTube but again like the drawings in here that don't really like what was mean much doing? that was for an art stand for when I was selling some art that looks really good shaggy Fred um but again like all of these like don't have a story behind them and that's because I just use them to advertise my art Nice. Oh, Tony Stark. Tony Stark. This one I was just going to do as a profile picture, but I never did. That looks really good. I mean, they all look really good, obviously. Why, thank yeah. you. Uh, oh, business card. Nice. Um, you know, while we're here, there's uh, there's that for you, good sir. Why not? Same even though I'm probably gonna, even though I'm probably gonna cancel that business very soon, so, yeah. so I'm keeping card, it as a momentum. Well, s m momento. Whatever. Momentum. <laughs> um, oh, this was just like, like what I pictured. Uh, 
Because, like, I was always just kind of like, hey, like, Haley and Adam are, like, my ex- my exploring buddies. Oh, yeah. And it's like, what if we were just, like, a, like an like an undercover, like, recon team Going out in, like, the Amazon. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Just got a war. This is, a uh, like, I wrote a whole story, like, if God of War was done Nowadays. in the Wild West. Oh, in the West. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I love, his, I love the poncho. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is like, this is supposed to be a thing of like anti selves, mm-hmm. like the exa- like polar opposite of you, in in like the most major way. Yeah. So Spencer's like a straight edge prep. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a douchebag druggie that fights people. Haley's just a whore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like she even got like a C tattooed on her arm for me. Yeah. But we've both, like, cheated on each other, like, multiple times. <laughs> uh, this is my outro. And those are all of, that. Those are all my employees. Nice. Um, oh, this is just fan art. Nice. Yeah. Me, Adam, Haley, and Medesi. <laughs> they look like the gorillas. Yeah, yeah, it's the <laughs> Demon Days cover. Um, this was an artwork that I did for Haley's cousin because mm-hmm. he and his friend um, were going and uh, they were playing a golf match but they both suck at golf oh, yeah. so there's a thing like their tournament is called the match like mm-hmm. their finals and so like this originally had like Tiger Woods and another guy so they wanted me to draw them like as if they were like pros but <laughs> in reality they like suck They're ass yeah. Yeah. oh this was just a thing because Trevor was moving, so I wanted to make him a drawing for when he left. Mm-hmm. It's like the bros. Nice. Uh, banner art on YouTube. And then that's it. Just YouTube stuff. But YouTube. But, so, I, I did plug my artwork, but... It's good artwork. Well, thank so, you. Yeah, um, you're good. But the whole point of, like, the whole point of that was... When I make a drawing, when I'm excited to make one, it's because there's, like, something behind it. Yeah. It's because you're if inspired. I'm, if I'm just it. drawing someone's dog so that I could get 50 bucks. It's not fun. It's not fun. Yeah. And that's that's just how my Too freelance... Too stress behind it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I legitimately think I'm going to cancel, like, my freelance mm-hmm. business. Like, I don't blame you. Draw for why you want to do it, not yeah. because other people want you to do it. Yeah. So, and know. plus, I really do want to focus, because I do want to work on comic books while I'm making... Like, while I'm in the process of making the animation. Because mm-hmm. I know that this is going to take forever. Yeah. So I'd much rather, like, get some stuff done while I'm working on this and push this back a little bit further. Honestly. Dude, we should collaborate on some stuff. So You and me? Yes. Heck yeah. A lot of stuff. A it lot of stuff. Be, I think we could get a lot of good ideas for sure. Your brains and my brawn. Yeah, kind of the opposite way here. But no, it's good. It's good. I'm strong. Now you're strong when it comes to your smell. It yeah. definitely makes me want to puke, so. What? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Huh. All right. Well, I feel like when we actually start roommating together, we could collab oh, a yeah. lot. A lot more. So. I could collab with your snakes. No. No? <laughs> no, no I'm not going to let you get anywhere near them. Oh, fine. Nah, if you want to. If you want to I'm actually, hold them. I actually like hate snakes, so you can have them. No, I thought you well, the ones I had, you held. I uh, I held that like one at the show. Mm-hmm. I hated it. See, all my snakes are nice though, so they don't bite. <sighs> yeah. I, I train them. I keep them pretty well tamed. So it's it's like absolute prejudice. Like I'm racist towards snakes. That's how a, a but, lot of people are. It's fine. But, it's just yeah, kind of evolutionary. <laughs> Some people just can break it. So plus, snakes have always kind of been like the symbolism of evil, so just true. like going on through history. I know history. you're not going to agree with this, but in my opinion, cats cats, cats are the epitome. Hey, of evil. they're the epitome <laughs> of bad luck. Well, because think about it. They literally destroy <laughs> tiny ecosystems. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's Whereas true. reptiles, they don't. They just kill because they have to. No. Cats, they kill for fun. That's, <laughs> that's true. something I don't like about them. Not <laughs> saying I hate cats, you know, but it's just... That is a big flaw with cats, in my opinion. Yeah. 
there is only one snake in my life that I would ever want as a pet. I would not want that. The world serpent. It's terrifying. He is amazing. It is terrifying. I would not want that thing near me. Oh, look at how huge he is. Like that's the top of a mountain. Yeah, see that thing. He wraps smaller. around the world twice. He's so huge. That's disgusting. Why? That's not disgusting, but it's... That's just, so cool! It's terrifying. Think about if there was a snake that big. It would swallow you. Nah. Mm. We're fine. Honestly, now I look make up, this dude my look background. Look up a ball python. It's not as cool. At least this, you can say, like, yo, my snake literally wraps around the world twice. And it ate a guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. It ate an evil god. I prefer How badass is that? I my snake yours. ate a god. It's not your snake. It's a game. It's going to be my snake. Hey. Ball python. He was real at one point. See, I want something manageable. Something hey, kind of nice. Jormungandr, he's a cuddly boy. No. Look at how soothing that face is. It's terrifying, dude. No, I. Yes, it is. Jormungandr. He may have good intentions, but he doesn't look like it, so... Oh, wow, so you're judging by appearance. Yeah. I see how it I is. I do that all the time. I do that with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Say what you want, but good lord, the graphics like a, the graphics of this game. Looks like a turtle there. A turtle? Yeah. Uh, His face. I haven't played that game yet, actually. I know my brother has, but... I know that you don't play games, but mm -hmm. this game, like, legitimately is a very cinematic experience. <laughs> like, here's the thing. I play games, but I prefer story games. Mm -hmm. Just because I just really appreciate a good narrative. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. Um... Save image as. But, like, my favorite games are like Uncharted, yeah. The Last of Us, ones God of War. Stories. Yeah, ones that could, like, I guess what do you be think movies. Of Far Cry. Far Cry, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Um, for your own games, aren't that much my thing. Yeah. You know. Boy. But it, like, if you, the game is just so so beautiful. The enjoyment level is like 11 out of 10, I swear. Nice. If you ever want to consider getting into video games, mm -hmm. start with God of War. I would. I just don't like spending a lot of time looking at a screen. That's, that is one thing. The game is like thing. 30 hours long. It gives me headaches. So. Yeah. I just, I prefer turn to off the up. Turn off the blue light. See, go into your settings and turn off the blue light. God of War. Awesome. He's so see. If I were to go bald, I would want that beard. The Kratos beard. Give me that beard. I would take it. Yeah. Dang, we've had the longest podcast ever. Two twenty-two. We gotta end it here. End it here. <laughs> That's two two two. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a third of the devil. <laughs> um. Now let's not end it here then. <laughs> what? Let's, let's not end it right there then. Let's end it at six sixty-six. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have anything else to say though honestly I think this has been a fun one we can do a part two we'll do oh you'll definitely come oh, back because I am tired right yeah, now yeah I so. am too um, but yeah you guys I'm Zeke thank you for listening I'm here with my good boy Florence Thanks, Exotics do you have just like a nickname that you go by or do you just Clay Clay just Clay yeah I'm here I'm here with Clay um that's it for us. I will see you guys in the next video, and he will see you the next time he's on for a podcast. Thanks so, for watching. Thanks for listening. Oh, yeah. It's a you, podcast, you, can't see. you dummy. Um, <laughs> but thanks okay. for being on, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.